Hello everyone, I'm Cryptic Fox, and welcome back to Icarus. Happy Saturday night, everyone. I hope you all are having a wonderful weekend so far. Or, for those of you who are on the other side of the world, happy Sunday morning, I guess. Uh, we're continuing on with the mission we've, we've had in progress for like the last two streams. Uh, I did make a point of going before the stream to check and make sure that the drop pod was going to be where we thought it was in order to like turn in this mission finally. So we have a few more dishes I have to cook, and then we have to take those back out to that uh, drop pod in the swamp. Then we can finish that mission off, and I'd like to try to work on getting some exotics today, so we have some more currency we can spend in the workshop when we want to buy some things. Uh, welcome everyone who's here in the chat so far, or if you're watching on the channel afterwards, welcome as well. As always, a huge thanks to everyone who's clicked on that join button to become a channel member. Thank you all very much for the support. And a special thanks to our top tier mistakes for made members that were highlighted right at the start of the stream. Wicked Echo, you say? Uh oh, hold on. Windows update might have messed up my sound settings. All right, give me a brief moment here to check the advanced stuff. Shouldn't be echoing. Is it, a, is it echoing for everybody? If so, I'm going to have to figure out what the problem is, because I don't actually know. Not for you. It's an echo for you. No echo here, sounds fine. All right, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe you just have it on two screens or something at the same time. Maybe that's where the echo is coming from. But, uh, welcome everybody. I think I saw Raptor popping in there, too. Welcome, uh, welcome anyone who's coming over from Raptor stream. Right, it got us right at the very beginning. I literally just went live. I haven't even got my first drink into me yet. Don't hear an echo. Okay, good. As long as there's no echo, then, uh, then we're all good to go. But, uh, yeah, welcome. This is my, uh, my fancy little house we have built here. Uh, which doesn't feel as fancy now that I'm living in it, because the space is a little more constrained than I thought it would be. And the light close to this mountain is terrible. Like, the sun sets super early, and then it gets dark in here. Um, so we're gonna do something about that. Uh, we did get the, the extra decor packs. So that'll give us at least some options to uh, make something fancier. Uh, but I'm eventually gonna move this house into an area that's a uh, higher light source or whatever. And we'll make it out of, like, concrete and glass and stuff when we get to the point that we actually have those things unlocked and ready to go. Welcome! Hickris and your phone don't like each other much. Oh, that sucks. Sorry to hear that, Jade. Two screens open, sorry. Oh, score. It's fine, yeah, just put one on mute and keep them both open. <laughs> Counts as two views, I guess. Probably not. Uh, anyway, we have a few things to cook. Uh, on the left-hand side there, you can see the list of stuff we have to get done for this mission. We have to make beer, uh, bread dough, soybean stir-fry, fish pie, and freshwater filet curry. Uh, I did already make the freshwater filet curry, so we have 20 of those ready in here. I've already salted them, so they should last longer, uh, so they don't run out on me. Uh, fish pie requires both fresh fish and, uh, sorry, freshwater fish and saltwater fish, so we're gonna have to go back to the swamp and get some saltwater fish. Um, I need mushrooms for the soybean stir-fry. I don't have any of those planted, I'm not sure if I can grow them here. Uh, normally they're accessible in the, uh, in the caves in, like, the cold biome, but I would prefer not to go all the way back there if we can avoid it. Uh, we might even be able to order some in from the, from the dropship, save ourselves a little trip. See what happens. Uh, hold on. Let me get rid of these sponges. Nobody needs a sponge around. We're not sponge worthy. Oh, I also want to build that bridge across this creek today because it's really been driving me nuts trying to get across that thing. I came across. So <laughs> I put a saddle on the mount in order to go take my thumbnail. I went back to the drop pod to make sure it was there. Took the the uh, the equus with me so that we could uh, see what the deal was with that. Uh, get there a little quicker. Um, it is terrible at crossing any obstacles. The jumping mechanism in this game is super weird. You have to stop and then jump. <laughs> you can't jump on the run. I don't know why. It's very strange to me. But that's how it works. Uh, so we definitely need a bridge to get across that stream because getting over it was a real pain in my butt. More Icarus. Hey Cheryl, how you doing? I'm trying to knock out this mission and so then we can get to work on some exotics and try to gather some of those up. Beer sounds good right now. Yeah, me too. I didn't have any beers. All I had was some Kahlua, so I'm having Kahlua and milk. <laughs> it's like alcoholic chocolate milk, basically. Hey, Tyler, how's it going? Okay, I need to make more bottles. I have... Oops, uh, 24. Oh, actually, maybe I have enough bottles now. Never mind. I only need 30, I think, right? 30 beer, yeah. We're good. Uh, beer is made in here. I only have enough for 20. What am I lacking here? It's not the bottles. I have enough bottles now. Uh, I hope it's not the wheat. 
I think it's the wheat, though. That's gonna suck. I don't know where else I have any wheat. I got a little bit. Oh, never mind. We're good. Okay, we got plenty of wheat. We're fine. There we go. Now we got me the uh, the thirty beer we needed. Uh, I also need bread dough, which I think is that made in. Where's the bread dough made? Probably in that thing I was already in. Yeah, there it is. Bread dough. We need flour and yeast. Uh, and I think I had flour already grinding up downstairs, so we'll go check that. Do I play Minecraft? Uh, not on stream, no. I, I've uh, played a little bit of Minecraft in the past, but it's not something I'm really into, so I don't really play it much. It's only going to make me 40 flour? Yeah, I'm going to have to get more of that. Uh, we'll get this fish going up here, too. These need to be all portioned up. These are all the freshwater fish we get in this lake. The salt water we gotta go back to the uh, the swamp for, unfortunately. I got, these, I got too many seeds. Storm event, incoming rain and lightning storm. Well, that should be fun. Hopefully it doesn't nuke my garden out there. That would suck. It didn't occur to that, I mean, when I built that thing. After work tomorrow, so you gotta go to bed. All right, well, have a good night, Cheryl. Have a good night at work. Definitely making your eggnog and bait. Oh, God, I can't do eggnog. But then again, I don't like eggs, so I guess that probably has a lot to do with it. Just don't see the appeal of eggnog at all because I don't like eggs. My mom always made it every every Christmas. She would whip up the eggnog and just was not doing it for me. Okay, I have enough beans, I think, for the stir fry. Uh, I have enough carrots. I think it takes one of each. And then I need mushrooms. Uh, I have 33 of them, but I have to make 40 of the stir fry, so I need like seven more mushrooms. Which kind of sucks. I would never say eggnog even tastes like eggs. No, it, I don't think that it, it would, but I can't get past the uh, the egginess of it. <laughs> Mixing raw eggs in a milk just does not really seem like a winning combination to me. I'm not sure why, but uh, there it is. I wonder if I, do you have to grow mushrooms in a cave in this game, or can I just put them in a farm plot out here? It'd be awfully bright for them, I would think, but... Oh, actually, while, that's, uh, while it's storming, let's see about making some stuff to make a bridge. I need nails, though. Kinda get, oops. <laughs> I just harvested them through my wall. That's handy. Um... I think like 100 nails or something. You can do farm plots with mushrooms? Okay, good. As long as I don't have to grow in, like, a cave. That would, that would kind of suck. I can see why, but... What's my favorite game? I mean, people ask me that a lot, and I never really know what to say. i play too many games. Um, I really like Oxygen Unincluded, although I haven't played it in quite a while now. Um, I played it for years. It was something that I kind of grew a lot of my channel on. So big on that. Uh, Elden Ring I really loved. It didn't do super well in the channel, but just as a game to play, I really loved it. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I struggle with favorites. I, I always kind of forget what I've played. Uh, okay, let's make, um, we'll make like two pillars. We need a couple of floor pieces and then, uh, I don't know, like a ramp. Play Oni because of me? Nice. <laughs> Wait a minute. Oh, that's thatch. I don't want that. Stone floor. Stone pillars. Mm -hmm. Uh, do you have any intention of playing Cyberpunk at the channel? Uh, if so, I sadly have to warn you against it. The amount of unclothed booze. I mean, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so I actually did play a little bit of Cyberpunk on the channel when it uh, first came out. Um, I didn't get uh, super into the game, but I did play it a little bit. And I think I had the settings uh, for the nudity and stuff to be off. Okay, I need... Um, deploy these. I don't know if like, these are going to be high enough. The way stuff snaps in this game is sometimes a little weird. Like, it's it's, embar it's embedded in the ground. Um, reset grid focus, I don't think we'll do anything in this case. Okay, maybe I can do this a different way. I'll try the, uh... 
floor pieces first. And then I can snap the uh, pillars off of that, maybe? I think I need another floor piece. I think that's touching. It's really hard to tell. Hold on, where's my light? Yeah, okay, so that's good. Uh, we'll take this one back. Only that sucker. It's, this one's not going to cooperate. Right, I'm going to need another pillar, because that one's a little deeper. It's not really even necessary, but it, just, it looks weird if you've got these things like hanging out in space without any like support or anything. Okay, so that'll give me a bridge across. I can finally stop messing around with trying to jump over the water here all the time. Not the prettiest looking bridge, but it's functional. Favorite's Goat Simulator? <laughs> ah, Goat Simulator. Did you do any Icarus multiplayer with Nate? No, we did ages ago. He kind of got burnt out on the game and didn't want to play anymore. Um, so I don't think we'll be playing any more Icarus. Not together, anyway. Other survival games, maybe, but uh, not Icarus right now. That looks kind of weird. Oh, well, whatever. It works, I guess. It'll get me across, and now this the horse won't have issues. I'm gonna now, mind you, I'm gonna have uh, wild critters coming across now instead, probably. But gotta do what you gotta do. Oh, I should check the fish traps and see if there's more fish in them. I don't know how long it takes stuff to actually get caught. Oh, that's pretty quick, actually. Just emptied these things. Oh, that's what was terrible. That one fish. Choppity chop! Sorry, fish. You're off to your death. But only in your Steam Deck, you look like it would be uh, easier on a laptop or computer with a mouse. Probably, yeah. I could see in particular, like, highlighting things where you, like, click and drag. It'd probably work a lot better with, uh, with a mouse. See that being challenging with a, with a controller. Uh, salted fish. Uh, these I can just destroy. I, don't, I really don't need these. Oops. Okay, so we've got uh, 21 of the fresh saltwater fillets. I only needed 20 because we have to make the the um, the fish pie with it, uh, which is that shepherd's pie, fish pie. So we need uh, mushrooms. I need pastry. I have to make that too. I guess we're gonna have to get more wheat. I guess I can plant some wheat. Um. So I've got the freshwater fillets we need now. We need the saltwater fillets. We're getting the pastry. I need a few more mushrooms. Oh wait, actually, hold on. No, I've got enough mushrooms for that, but I need them for the stir fry too. Oh crud! I need a lot more mushrooms than I thought. Cause that takes mushrooms too. Okay, that's a problem. Um, I can either run back to the cold biome, or we can try sending some down from the station, I guess. Uh, we've got our beer ready. Check on the flour we were grinding up. Got 40 flour. I don't remember how much it takes to actually make the, uh, bread dough. We need 30. It takes 5 for each one. Ah, oh, crud. Yeah, okay, I need a lot more wheat. I'm gonna have to go plant some. Shoot, that sucks. Uh, I won't make it yet because I don't want it to start spoiling and the flour keeps, so we'll just stick that here. I swear I had flour somewhere else I had used for something. Do not remember what. See that you can get exotics in the open world maps? Yeah, so that's why it's in the title of the stream. <laughs> so we're gonna, we're gonna try and knock out this culinary the, the, the lights quest first, and then we're gonna get our hands on some exotics so I can try to get a little bit more money to work with that way. Dang, I really thought I had more flowers somewhere. I guess I don't. Um, I do have plenty of seeds. We should be able to plant some here. I'll have to, uh... 
You know, I'm actually I'm pretty good for berries now. Let's get rid of all these berries. We'll harvest them and then we'll get rid of all the bushes. We'll put wheat in its place. Uh, root plant. There we go. There we go. That should grow pretty quickly, I think. Oh, that sucks. You know what I hate about the, uh, the stuff you grow is that it's a separate type of seed from the ones you gather in the wild. That's a bit of a nuisance. What's money for in this game? <laughs> well, you just use it for stuff at the workshop, basically. So, armor upgrades, uh, backpack upgrades, there's these little uh, auxiliary module things you can get. Repair kits for stuff. I did I did send out a repair kit, but I have to make the bench before I can actually fix up my armor and tools and stuff. Uh, let's go there. Somewhere I got more carrots. That meat. Gotta make some more cream corn too, I guess. What out of cream corn, man? Oh, wait a minute. Do we have no corn left? Uh oh, I think it all went bad on me. I don't know where I had it stored. <laughs> uh oh. Oh well, I guess we're not making cream corn. Have to pay back our bookie. That's right, that's what it is. Oh, there's no fire burning. I think it ran out of wood. Yep. Sleep and make it daytime. Wonder how much of a green thumb Fox is IRL? Not really very much. I mean, my dad grew up on a farm, so I did know a bit about plants and stuff. My wife's much more of a green thumb than I am. She's got, uh... Got all the plants and stuff around here. She actually did like a little garden planter in the backyard this year to like grow some tomatoes and stuff. That's definitely not me, let's just say. Okay, request equipment uh, from the workshop. There's the shrooms. Let's bring down a shroom packet. Little mushrooms. I'm just gonna bring down one pack, because I think you get five in each. Look where that sucker lands. Don't, just don't land on my house, that would suck. Yeah, that's bright. Mushrooms acquired. I'm gonna swap out uh, carrots for those, I think. <laughs> he makes an eating sound, even though all, he, all he's doing is unwrapping it. That's very weird. Okay, mushrooms are planted, so that all should take care of that. Need ice cream truck music when the lethal company of the drop pots. Yeah. <laughs> That's, uh... That game's weird. It's fun, but it's a very weird game. And the ice cream truck thing in particular is a little off. I had some more fuel crafting in here. Oh, I didn't, I didn't get very much. I, need, I gotta throw some more fiber in here. Where's my fiber at? I had a whole bunch of it at one point. All this stuff can go in there. That's better. Gotta fuel up that stove. Dad went from growing up and farm to working on robot, uh, rocket propulsion. NASA, your path went a different direction. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Yeah, my dad had a farm, and he wanted me to, uh, to grow up and do the farming thing, but it just didn't really interest me all that much. I'm too lazy for that. Farmers work hard, man. I hardly work.
Okay. What do I need? What do I need? Red dough, soybean beer. Beer fry. Oh, I gotta go get the uh, the fish. Go take care of that while well, this is in progress. I'll probably make sure my gun's loaded too. I only got 18 bullets left. I gotta make more bullets too eventually. Work smarter, not harder. Yeah, that's it. Really? Oh well. No! Oh jeez! <laughs> God dang! I was just looking! <laughs> they wrecked my stupid thing of a bobber. My bridge. My walkway or whatever. Oh, wrong button. Can't believe I don't mean that we're trapped into that. That was crazy. I don't really need the meat and everything so much. Um But I don't want to leave the carcass here and draw on other predators. Play Ark with him, you can borrow his dinosaur. <laughs> I mean, you must be talking about Nate. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure he'd be in a rush to lend me his dinosaur after what I did the last time we played. <laughs> Too funny. Uh, I need stuff to. Oh, wait. Do I have another bridge on me? Oh, I do. Nice. I was going to go back and build more, but I got one. We got one! That's not right. Just make these things out of stone so I can stop having to fix them all the time. Bones and leather and stuff will be super useful. Times well, I've got so much by now. Um, I often kill things and just leave the bodies lying on the ground because <laughs> there's I've got too many of all the the different resources now. Meat I could probably use to turn into more fat for cooking ingredients or something. But like fur and stuff, not so much. Bones, I guess I could we can grind that up. So it has some use still. Over this way we have some fish traps we had set out a couple streams ago that should uh should give us a windfall of fish. As long as my inventory is not too full. This is something I have to watch out for. It's annoying, my daughter's having a sleepover tonight and she's got her friends over. And I have a very sensitive microphone, so you may hear them in the background at some point. Hopefully not, but but you might. It's harder way to make the ramp into something that doesn't degrade over time. Yeah, this if you make it out of stone, then it'll uh it'll withstand the weather. I just haven't spent the time and resources to do it. I guess I just should. Nate would probably give you a dinosaur with a timer and explosives hidden under the belly. <laughs> that sounds about right. I mean, you can't really blame him, right? After all the trouble we've we've caused his uh, dinosaurs in Ark, it's been years since we played though. It's, he still hasn't let it go. <laughs> Stairs aren't supposed to be made of cardboard. It turns out not. I don't know why. Perfectly viable building material, if you ask me. All right, we've got. Uh, oh, I've got a lot of fish traps here. We're we're not gonna be able to take all this fish. I can't harvest it on the spot. I've got to take it back to the crap. Oh, there we go. These we can pitch. Don't need those. Didn't even need bait in these things. It's great. Okay, we've got too much of something. Uh, let's get rid of fur. I definitely don't need the fur. There we go. Recent patch fixed it where food wouldn't spoil in your inventory. Now you gotta salt to preserve it. Yeah, I've I've been uh, I've been making a point of salting everything. 
have to get my hands on more salt probably soon. I think there might even be a salt loon on the way back to our house. Stone. Maybe not. No, maybe not. These are all just stone. Oh well, I'm sure there's some more salt around, we'll come across it. I think I still have like a hundred or something in the salting table, so we're not in urgent need. Is that sulfur right there, or is that salt? That's salt. Oh right, my inventory's full. Ah, oh, crap. What don't I need that I can get rid of? You know what, I don't need this one basic bandage. We'll pitch that. We'll take the salt instead. You can always make another bandage later. Like, am I going the wrong way? Ow. I don't need this bandage, famous last words. You don't need the arrows. Or the bullets. Okay, uh, fish first, I guess. We'll get that going. Chop up my fish. I'm gonna make some more fat. I don't know what to do with this white meat, so we'll just stick it in here, I guess. Oh my god, they're so loud upstairs. <laughs> Hey, Hanuk, how you doing? Technically, you don't need to breathe. Yeah, well, technically. It's just that survival thing that's tied to it. Who wants that, anyway? Okay, fish pie. I think, uh... Oh, boy. Ah, oh, man, my fridges are full. Let's take this out of here. Fish in there. Okay, so I think... Do I have enough for fish pie now? I need how many fish? Oh, I need twenty fish pie. So I have enough mushrooms now, I think, for that. Fish pie. Oh, I gotta make the pastry. Oh, I did have a hundred salt left. I don't think I got some. Pastries where? Where? Where the pastry at? There it is. Flour and animal fat. Of course, it's flour. Okay. Well, I need uh, twenty of those. So we've got. 18 animal fat there. Stick that in there. I don't remember why I have animal fat down here, but I had some apparently. Mushrooms are growing. It's growing. Oh! Nice! Oh, it's all just coming up to harvest right now. That's perfect. What's that for timing? Make more flour. 14! Oh boy. <laughs> this is gonna take a while. I 
don't need anything but this thermos, but uh, I don't need anything else but this chair. But other than this chair, I need this thermos. I don't need anything else. Uh, sure. What, what do you said? What's he talking about? Pretty sure. To, oh, I need water. There we go. Welcome to uh, Food TV. Where long the mushrooms take to grow? Oh, all right. <laughs> Never mind, they're ready. <laughs> that gotta be more mushroom seeds too, which is nice. What TV? Food TV, the Food Network or whatever. I don't, I don't do words. You got no words. I've got rotten food in two different places here. I should really have all that together. Okay, we've got the mushrooms. Um, got the saltwater fish, the freshwater fish. Pastries in progress. That's going to take a little bit. Wow. Apparently it's a slow process making pastry. A lot of all, of all streamers, you would recognize the Jerk movie. I don't think I've seen the Jerk. I feel shame now. So much shame. I've seen so many movies, but that one, I can't say I've seen. Shame. 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 Uh, wait a minute. What am I missing here? Fish pie! Oh, the mushrooms. Did I put the mushrooms back? Wait a minute. Where did I put them? <laughs> I had all those mushrooms. Where'd I go? Oh, there they are. Oh my god. I'm so dense. I had them in the wrong bench. Alright. Fish pie on the go. Oh, no. Wrong table. This one here. Fish pie! 20. Perfect. You have to stop the stream and go watch The Jerk right this second. I feel like Stupid Humor is the best movie for it. I do like Stupid Humor. <laughs> you see the Potato Channel? Must say it in Epic Week. The Potato Channel! That channel? <laughs> Classic Steve Martin? Oh, is it? Oh my god, how could I not have seen that? I remember watching when you played Oni with the 16 month member message. Thanks, Honic. Appreciate the, uh, the 16 months of support. Yeah, I played a lot of Oxygen Unincluded. That was, uh, that was like a big part of my channel for a long time. Brings back memories. Uh, wait a minute. I need a place to put these mushrooms. And they don't combine together, because some are harvested and some are grown. That's great. Stack up watermelons. We'll take some of these out. We'll put the shrooms in. Oh, I do have corn. I thought it was all gone for some reason. Can I make some more cream corn, please? No, oh, I need my water for that, I bet. Am I expanding the base tonight? Uh, tonight I'm planning to hunt out some exotics. So right now we're working on uh, cooking up the food we need to finish off this, uh, this uh, culinary delights quest that we've had for a while. Uh, so we'll finally get that one knocked out. Uh, and then I want to work on getting some exotics tonight. Uh, we know at least one place we can mine them. And then we, I should check some of the caves that I've already explored and see if there's any more that we can just gather while we're in there. So that's kind of going to be my focus for tonight, I think. 
still cooking so slow. Okay, so that gives us fish pie, freshwater filet curry. We need some more mushrooms for the soybean stir fry. We're working on the bread dough. Beer is already made. We're almost ready. So close, yet so far away. Why is this not going? Ah, I ran out of fuel. Dang it. Oops, wrong one. How do I make it go? Do something! Can't cancel or anything. What the heck? Very cute. There we go. There. Who knew gas stoves are so hard to light? Should we start a new base today? Uh, probably not. I'm gonna when I build the new base, I want to make it out of like cement and glass and stuff. Uh, so we're gonna need some more crafting benches and stuff for that. I have up through tier three right, built right now. We're gonna need some tier four stuff for that. Just started playing this week, so pretty happy to get exotics and open world early. Yeah, that's a plus. I've never really made like a huge focus of getting exotics in the game. I've just sort of like gotten them through quest rewards and then like the occasional ones that I've found. But I'm not kind of at that point now where I'm I'm all out of exotics and there's stuff that I would like to maybe get, and I don't have any, so I've, I've got to get some. Oh wait, I gotta salt those first. Reserve those things up. Hope they don't mind their food a little on the salty side. Okay, and then mushrooms, I have a total of... Oh, actually, I have enough mushrooms now. Take the mushrooms, we'll take the beans. Uh, I need carrots, we'll take those. And we need to make 40 of that soybean stir-fry, I think it is, right? A soybean stir-fry, yeah. So this one here, 49, nice. Perfect. Get the sucker knocked out. Red exotics take forever. I haven't even gotten any red ones, I don't think. I don't remember Oni, but I do remember that scorpion pill. <laughs> We're so close. We're so close. Um. Okay, let's um. Let's get rid of all this leather. I don't need to carry this around with me. Start to load up the beer. Mm, beer. I'm not sure if it's all gonna make the trip. Some of it might get consumed on the way. I should actually make some more of this just for the buffs. 100% stamina regeneration, bonus stamina. Consumes one space in stomach. <laughs> Where are that to, uh. I think 150. Well, 75 stamina there, 100 stamina. 75 stamina. It's pretty good. 125 stamina. Well, I have bread dough left to make. Oh, yeah, I gotta do make the bread dough. Uh, flour, yeast, and water. Uh, let's check on that flour I ground up down here. 14. Okay, that the bread dough might take a little bit. It takes five flour per bread dough, I think. Why are some of these not growing as quickly? That's weird. Are they getting too much shade from these open windows above them? Like, what's up with that? <laughs> Weird, man. Let me close these and see if it makes a difference. It's super strange. Oops. Dang it. that in here, more flour. Ugh, another 17, that is such a slow process. Yeah, it's five flour for each one. I've only got enough to make six right now. I have to make a total of 30 bread dough. That's gonna be a nuisance. What I should do is just go and find some more. Fertilizer? Uh, yeah, yeah, we can throw some fertilizer in there. 
I haven't been using the fertilizer, like, at all. How do I use it? I've never tried using the fertilizer before. Oh, there we go. Fertilized crop. First time for everything. Up until this point, I really haven't worried about how quickly it grows. They grow so fast, seems a waste to fertilize them. Just make gunpowder with it. Yeah, it, well, can you make gunpowder with the fertilizer in this game? I mean, it makes sense that you'd be able to, but... I don't recall seeing it being an option. You know, just sulfur and charcoal. I don't think we can make... Oh, yeah, no, that's... Salt, charcoal, and spoiled plants. Huh. Alright. So, rather than turning it in the uh, spoiled plants into fertilizer, you mean just put it in the char in the gunpowder? Makes a lot more than a regular recipe, too, does it? Oh, it does, huh? Oh, now these are ready. Thanks, plants. I wonder if there's any wheat, like, right nearby that I can grab. I, I seem to recall I had to travel a bit to get it. If that's the case, I don't want to go through all that effort. Take a quick peek around here. I think I might have been far away from the house that I found it. Those buffs in. Where's my base? It is down next to this lake right here in G7. Overall, it's not a bad location, except that uh, it's too close to a mountain. So when the sun sun gets to get like, into the afternoon time frame. The house is, like, immediately in shadow, which makes it kind of dark. Aside from that, it's a pretty good spot, I guess. Reasonably well located. Alright, I think the, the wheat's probably too far away to bother with this. Maybe I'll just plant more of it. Wheat is in the North Plains. Yeah, it's up here kind of thing. I don't really want to go that far. I'm lazy. Go southeast by, uh, forest biome and the mouth to the Arctic? Oh, way down here? Yeah, too much hassle. Like I said, I'll just plant more. I'll rip up the soybeans since I don't think we need any more of those. Now we can put the, uh, the weed in its place. What will your next car mechanic simulator 2020 live stream be? I don't know, I haven't streamed it in like two years. <laughs> so, I'm not sure. They did actually send me a key to access the, um, the DLC for uh, BMW. I was kind of tempted to try to give that a whirl. Uh, incidentally, I'm planning a uh, planning another charity live stream coming up. Maybe I can slip that in there if there's enough interest. I don't know it's hard. It's hard to know what to play on a charity stream. It's going to draw enough enough interest because I like it's all about all about the attention for the charity at that point. Wait a minute. When I pull these things up, I'm not getting the beans first. That's super weird. Okay, I need those, uh, need those seeds. Where do they go? Just, uh, just discovered this game. It already ruined my life. 
<laughs> this game's already ruined your life? Oh, in terms of like, uh, too much time spent on it? Is that what I mean? Fertilize these and try to get them to grow like super fast. Or even if it doesn't grow faster, if it just gives me a better yield, that would be all right too. Come on. What's the date for the charity stream? Uh, I'm planning for December 16th and 17th, I think. Let me just quickly pull up a calendar and double check. Yeah, 16th and 17th. Um, I reached out to the people at Covenant House. They're supposed to get back to me early next week because uh, they, they set up a new webpage for it. Um, and they needed to like move over my credentials and stuff to the new page. So once I have that set, then I'll... Uh, I'll set up the stream, and then I'll figure out what I'm going to play, and we'll take it from there. It'll be uh, another uh, two-day event, so 12 hours each day, in support of uh, Covenant House Toronto. Hope you're having an awesome day so far. Not bad, not bad. I did some super exciting stuff today. Nothing, nothing more thrilling. And working on setting up a budget. That's that's that was my excitement for the day. <laughs> so boring. Was it an exciting family budget? No, no, it really wasn't. <laughs> it was more like, okay, tax season's coming up. We need to make sure we got stuff all sorted out the way it needs to be. <laughs> it's not fun. I want to make sure to mark the date. It's the last one. Yeah, I'll, uh, I, like I said, I should know early next week. Um, well, I'll have the details early next week for the um, the page access. And then um, the event page will be set up from there. And uh, I'll start to communicate it, all, all the details and stuff. Because I still have to figure out what I'm going to play. Um... Oh no, I forgot I had the food in there. One of them already went bad on me! <sighs> Dang it! I've got to make one more soybean stir-fry. Ugh. Do I even have room in the fridge for this? I don't. Well, this is fun. Um... Don't necessarily need all those things in there. I'll take that out of there. Try to keep those things from going bad on me. Okay, so I need uh, soybean, that thing, and shrooms. Make one more soybean stir fry. Don't need no stinking credentials. They put like a huge logo, uh, um, huge thing on the page with my logo on it. <laughs> I'm gonna, like, pull up the website. Nope. Yep. There we go. Okay, we got more flour. So that's in there. Let me take that wheat out of there. 59 flour. Oh my god. This is gonna take so long. It's still only 10. Maybe it might be worth riding all the way up north and trying to find it. Oh, okay. <laughs> they're they're standing up a new uh, a new web page for the main mission, and I saw it the other day when I was looking and trying to log in. But I think they made it live too soon. It wasn't ready yet. I was going to show you, but, uh, I don't see it there now. So I don't think it's live anymore. Early next week it should be. Might be short, but you can go put it, uh, put it in the probe and not worry about spoiling. Yeah, it's just that the probe is so far away. It's such a pain to, like, ride all the way over here. 
Uh, I was riding the Equus earlier, and its stamina sucks. Like, you, you sprint for a short little bit, and then you gotta stop and let it uh, recover. Feels like it's in some ways slower than just running on foot because the stamina piece of it. Um, those in there. Shrooms we should preserve. I'm not really worried about these other veggies. I've got so many of them now. And the fish. Fishy, fishy, fish. My horse is being attacked! Back off! Get your own horse! Oh, it's mine. Big jerk. Hey, Stephanie. Not the probe, your dropship. Oh, and my dropship? If I just stick them in there, will they, uh... Will it not spoil sitting in there? If I put stuff in, can I take stuff back out again? I can't. No can do. I guess I only take certain things. Not that one, my dropship. Oh, oh, over there, up on the hill. Okay. Meh. It's alright, we'll just salt it. It's fine. It'll last. It's in the fridge and salted, so it should be alright. Or wheat's coming along. It was the horse's bacon. Bacon! Given how much wheat I need, maybe I should just ride up. Oh, is it not early enough? I think I went to sleep too early. Or tried to, anyway. Come on, wheat. I even fertilized you for crying out loud. No, Robbie you can move the dropship. Oh, I don't have the uh, I don't have the thing to summon over the dropship just yet. I'm salty too. I don't know what you're talking about. I think if you put the cook stuff, it will count regardless if it goes bad. Oh, as long as it's in the uh, yeah, it counts it like when you pass it into the dropship as uh, the little drop pod for the mission. Is that, that's what you mean. I just don't want to go all the way over there with without all the stuff. All right, let's take the uh, we'll take the Equus North here, and we'll try and track down some wheat. Go, buddy. See, I feel like the Equus is a little bit faster than running, but it has a slower uh, stamina recovery speed because I can't buff it the way I can buff myself. So when I stop and I gotta let it slowly recover its stamina, I don't need as much time when I'm on foot, which is kind of weird. Nobody likes waiting on their weed, yeah. The bird's amazing fast? Uh, the, the the Loa? It didn't used to be, they must have they must have buffed the speed on it. When they first introduced them, I tamed one and I was disappointed with how slow it was. Maybe we should tame one and we can uh, test it out again. That's right, I like to buff myself, giggity. <laughs> I was, uh, I went to a movie with my cousin today, I saw the Napoleon movie. The, uh, the new one by Ridley Scott. And there's a scene in there where a guy is really vigorously washing his hands. Uh, and you just see him from behind. Uh, but it was like immediately after like this short raunchy sex scene. <laughs> so... I, uh, I didn't understand that he was washing his hands at first. Thought he was buffing himself. Let's just say. <laughs> when I realized it was just hand washing, I was like, Oh, he's washing his hands! <laughs> Can you upgrade your horse? Uh, I don't think so. Not, not that I know of. Maybe I can put it on the change table and, like, boost it or something. I... I there's, a, there's a pine forest over here. Maybe there's a... Maybe the wheat's over there. Bill Wheaton. Extra G spot at a museum. Yeah, so, like, if you're uh, bringing drills or whatever, for example... Oh, there we go. Um, 
so we're, when I bring a drill to drill the exotics, we can put, carry an extra one when we got the equus here. There we go. We found the wheat. Wheat. Oh, and okay, I found the wheat. Hopefully, my sight doesn't break on me because I didn't actually look at the condition it was in. I'm still using an iron sickle. I probably should make a platinum one. They have the ostrich type mount that's supposed to be fast. You have the loa. And the first time I used it, I was really disappointed with the speed, so maybe they made it faster. Most recent patch notes said they're developing a leveling system for mounts. That would be helpful, because, like, some of them, it would be nice if you could do something. To, even if you could just give them, like, I don't know, if you could give it a food buff, for example, like, feed it something in particular to give it, like, higher stamina or better stamina recovery or something. Even that would work. I don't know that they necessarily need to level, if you could just like feed them and have them perform better the same way as you do yourself. <laughs> Lama go clop clop. Ah, it broke. How much did I get? Oh, I didn't get very much. <laughs> Alright, we got a pretty decent chunk. Let's, uh, let's go back. My circle broke, but we, we got a good amount. Don't listen to them, your legs are the fastest. <laughs> I swear they've improved the horses since your last video. That ho oh, man, the last time the Equus, uh... The one Equus we had got killed on me. Now you're all shocked and I'm surprised by this. Poor thing died a horrible screaming death. Stamina depleted. Did the movie end with him saying his famous quote, they wanted me to be another Washington? Curious if the movie was made for entertainment or historical accuracy. Uh, you know, I haven't really read a whole lot about Napoleon. Uh, it sort of skips along through his his life pretty quickly. Like, it's these, these big jumps in time. So, no, they ended with his, uh, he was, he was said to have, uh, like, his last three words were something like France, Army, Josephine, or something like that. So that's what they ended on. Wasn't anything in the talent trees for mounts? There might be, and I just I spent my points elsewhere. Probably is. Entertainment Ridley Scott character uh, criticized historians by saying, "You weren't there." F oh, really? <laughs> Well, there's always going to be a certain amount of artistic license taken. Because, I mean, he's right. Like, nobody was there to actually see the guy's mannerisms and, like, behind-the-scenes stuff where he's interacting in private with his wife or whatever. So there's always, like, a, an, an, like a certain element of dramatization with that kind of stuff. It was entertaining. It was, like, a three-hour movie, though, so, like, the last bit of it kind of really dragged. We made it, horse thing! I've got a fair amount of crushed bone right now. That's shocking. I don't know why that iron ingot's in there. Last words were probably sponsored by so and so. <laughs> yeah. I like the quote because it uh, points to his admiration for Washington refusing to be king after the revolution, refusing to run for a third term as president, a unique leader. Uh, I mean, I guess, although Napoleon himself made himself emperor, so. I don't know. He seemed to be alright with kings and emperors for the most part. Kazme with a 12 month member message. One year. Thank you for the one year of support. That's amazing. My, how time flies. Like I said, it was a it was a reasonably entertaining movie. There's some some parts that like honestly made me laugh. 
don't think it was intended to be a comedy, but there's just some stuff that's funny in it. Oh, I gotta fix my scy sickle. My scy sickle thing. This thing. <gasps> no, don't destroy it! God dang. Why can't I repair it? What am I lacking here? Wood! That can't be right. I really wish it had something more than just the symbols. It looks like I need wood to fix this thing. That's super weird. I'll take some wood and see what happens. Yep, that did it. Alright, whatever. <laughs> Quote means he considered Washington stronger than himself and all the other rules. Um, okay. Yeah, I, I really haven't read up a whole lot on Napoleon, so I wouldn't really know a lot about that. I just basically know, of, like, I have, like, some passing familiarity with his stuff or whatever. Yeah, the handles would be usually you just pick one material, and that's the one that's needed to repair something in this game. So, I, excuse me, I would have figured iron would be the thing. Apparently not. Movie, not a documentary. Yeah, it was. It was a movie. <laughs> I mean, this is, there's always a certain amount of artistic license taken, even with documentaries, because they, you know, there's only so much you can know about events that you didn't witness. Satellite, satellite. Uh, I can go there. Oh my god, I got too much. Too many seeds. I'm gonna have to start making like seed crackers or something in this game. Just to use the seeds up. Okay, I have now 134. This will be 20. 26 I can get so far. Everything I know about Napoleon is from Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventures. Ah, oh, Bill and Ted's. <laughs> I haven't seen that in forever. When I was in high school, we did uh, we did Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure as a as like a school play in our drama class. <laughs> What is going on with my volume switch? There we go. Bohemian Rhapsody took a lot of flack uh, for accuracy, which was a shame for Remy Malik because he nailed it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's hard. I mean, anytime you're dealing with something that's uh, historical in nature and either has a big following or is a, or is a charged type of thing, it's going to get a lot of debate. It was, a, like I said, it was entertaining. I wasn't going for specifically because I desperately wanted to know more about Napoleon. I just wanted to be entertained. I was. It was an alright movie. Alright, let's make this dough. I need, uh, this. <laughs> 28! <laughs> I'm short by two. I need 10 more flour. There we go. What? Oh, maybe it's gonna run out of water, actually. I haven't had that happen before. Any horror movies you like? Uh, God, I don't know. I So, when I think of horror movies, I often think of like the ones from like the 80s and 90s. I don't really, I don't, I don't really go after watching horror movies. So like current ones, not so much. Am I making pie? No, I'm just making uh, bread dough. So I've got everything else made. We've got the freshwater filet curry, the fish pie, the soybean stir fry, and the beer already all crafted. 
We just need to finish crafting the bread dough, and then we can take all this stuff over to... Um... Oh, we've got just enough salt for it, too. Uh, back to the drop pod to, to drop it off. I prefer historical movies like Abraham Lincoln Vampire Hunter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Epic. Napoleon was not short. 5'6". Yeah, I had heard that um, it was it was really just his enemies that called him short as a way to belittle him. No no pun intended. Or maybe all the pun intended. I don't know. Maybe that's where, the, maybe that's where belittling originated. Oops. No, I guess taking the water away just stopped it all together. All right. No, I don't need 20. I need uh, 13. Short in temperament? Yeah. Have I watched Goosebumps? Uh, nope. I don't think so. Now craft a beef wellington with mushroom duck cell. <laughs> we got all the stuff here. We could. I don't think we have eggs. So we can't do an egg wash on it. The drop that you really hope is still there. I checked before stream. I made a point of riding over there. That's how I got the thumbnail for the stream. I took a screenshot just to make sure the thing was still going to be there because I didn't want to have to go all the way over and then find out that uh, the quest was borked again. That would have sucked. So yeah, it's still there. We're good. <sighs> Fava beans and a bottle of Chianti. Hooray! It's done! Let's salt this. It's funny we can salt the dough. You'd think it would just ruin it, but alright, whatever. I'll take it. Oof. No room for nothing in here. Alright, let's uh, sleep and make it daytime. Then we'll start stocking up all this junk we gotta take. Uh, that can go back in here. What am I missing? Got the got the bread dough, we've got the stir fry, we've got the fish pie, we've got the filet, the curry filet. Beer, bread dough, soy, flavor. Okay, I think I got it all. We'll drop this stuff off, then we can go hunting for exotics. I wish I could just drop it in the pod that's right here. <laughs> That's not an option, though. Taking orders, I want some turducken. <laughs> Good old turducken. <laughs> Nothing says delicious like stuffing deboned animals inside of other deboned animals. <laughs> Got home from work and noticed the live was on, and no, you do not want to know my local time. Uh, hi, Keeper. I assume you're on the other side of the world for me, then. Or at least across the pond. If you're in the UK area, then it's, yeah, it's gonna be after three, like Matt, there. I swear this thing makes it slower, because I gotta stop and recover the stamina. Oh, I should actually eat some food here first, too. At least I get into a fight. 413 just got in the door. Yikes! Night shift. I hope it was a good night. Happy early Sunday morning. Oh, jeez, it's a wall. What's my favorite Harry Potter movie? I don't think I have a very ha favorite Harry Potter movie. I enjoyed the books. I don't know that. I don't think I'd say I have a favorite of the movies though. Light hail. What's the odds that's gonna hurt me a little bit? And nor my horse. Who I won't be able to fit inside of a rock for cover. If we can get to the uh, the swamp biome, I guess that'll give me uh, give me protection from the storm. I really like Harry Potter, but I'm uh, I, I don't know I don't think I have a favorite of the movies. 
enjoyed the stories a lot. So when I uh, when I went to Disney with the kids, I, I took my daughter, who I think was, well, the, I think at the time she was like nine or ten. I took her over to uh, Universal Orlando so we could see the Harry Potter stuff there. It was a Harry Pothead once. <laughs> so that was a Harry Pothead once, but then I gave up the pot. Kept making my hair stink too much. Oh, you know what's going to be a problem is the storm's going to make the horse's stamina recover slower. Happy to get to watch the Doctor Who Anniversary Special. Man, I haven't seen Doctor Who in forever. We're almost there! We just gotta get a little farther, horse! So which happened to you forever? Did you get rid of the hair or did you get rid of the pot? <laughs> favorite's Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. Uh, I can say for certain it wasn't the first movie that was my favorite because it felt really disjointed and I'm not in the right area. Dang it. Oh wait, oh wait, yes I am. Where's my bridge? Not bridge. Stairs. Slam. Rope. Thing. Not rope. Ramp. God. Words. I can words. There it is. Ah, we made what? Swamp gust, incoming windstorm. <sighs> Man, out of one and into another, huh? Although it doesn't look like it. It's showing sunny on the thing there. Anyway, we gotta go over to here. <laughs> Calm down, horse. It's violent riding when you sprint on the ML. Yeah, the the animation's kind of weird. It, your uh, your character's too rigidly attached to the animal, so that there's not it's not a, a natural riding look at all. Hey, Luke, how you doing? Got my LOTRs films lined up for Xmas Eve and a bottle of JD. Nice. We're, uh, we're looking forward to the return of the elves and the shelves soon. <laughs> I say that sarcastically. My daughter's super excited for them to show up, though. Well, there doesn't seem to be map wide now. No more getting, uh, two, getting two entire storms in a row because you change zones. Yeah, although I, I changed uh, I changed zones here and it said a windstorm, but then there really wasn't a storm, so I don't know. Kind of breezed right out of it, I guess. <laughs> yeah, eggs are my favorite food. <laughs> Absolutely. And by that you mean chocolate eggs, right? Not like the real ones that come out of the backside of an animal. It's so close to being a poop. <laughs> Not the backside it comes out their butt. It's not even their butt. Ta da! Look, it's here. Oh, okay. All these things belong in here. Right. Boom. Credit. I think you're good. I think I'm good too. Thanks for recognizing that. All right, so we got 600 monies and 100 exotics out of that. Wow! Oh, no, it cooked my horse. You okay, buddy? Oh, he only took a tiny bit of health. He's fine. 
He just got just got shaved the hard way. Okay, quest done. Now we gotta go looking for exotics and stuff. Scout some caves out, and then there we know where there's one deposit that's outside. I've gotta get the drills crafted for that. No, you're not good. You need a quick remote. Thanks, Joseph. I guess. Hurt my feelings. American Psycho is my favorite Christmas movie. <laughs> nice. American Psycho. It's a good movie. To be fair, every human started off as an egg. Yeah, but I wasn't eating that egg. Because Vox have to talk to the kids online about the birds and the bees. <laughs> it was a darn tragedy. The birds hooked up with the bees, and it was just a disaster. Oh. Insert Die Hard is a Christmas movie theme here. Yeah. <laughs> he still maintains it wasn't, but it was. Why don't they drop those close to your house? Why halfway across the planet? Specifically to make you work for it. They're just determined to make it a pain in the butt. That's what it is. I really wish they had put the dirt bike in the game that they had talked about. Or they showed it in one of the early tra trailers, like riding around on a dirt bike. That would have been kind of cool. I mean, the mounts are all right, but dirt bike would have been cool. What a movie called Canadian Oddballs, starring Cryptic Fox. Just not sure about viewer ratings. Oh yeah, it would be like viewer ratings would be non-existent. In the grand scheme of things, I'm a complete unknown quantity. <laughs> Going. No Nate tonight? No, Nate doesn't play uh, Icarus with me anymore. He got burnt out on the game and has no interest in playing it. He was streaming on his own channel tonight. I think, anyway. I think he was playing... Uh... Was he playing more Lethal Company tonight? Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe that was another night. All the days kind of blend together. Ugh, come on, you stupid horse. Like, see, the fact you can't run and jump in this is just stupid. You gotta run up and stop and then jump, and then you only get as much forward momentum as the thing can jump from a standstill. Now, don't bomb me, you little jerks. Ow, you... Alright, it's fine. <laughs> I need a lower ledge that I can get out of the water now. They're just trying to kill us. You climb up here. There we go. We made it. We made it. I want to mark the uh, the exotic patch that was here. Stamina depleted. That's a fancy music for finding this thing. Who needs radar? Okay. So we got that mark there. We're going to come back and drill that sucker up. The Cryptic can't keep a positive attitude playing this game. How could Nate ever survive? <laughs> well, Nate and I played it for a while, but uh, I, I think he just found the grind to be too painfully repetitive. Now, they didn't have open world at the time we played it either. So, oh, are you joking right now? Come on, horse. Like, look at this. Come on! You call yourself a pretend horse. Oh, dang it. Just... <sighs> <laughs> I 
Uh, they didn't have open world at the time we were playing it, so it, the, the grind was even worse when we were playing before. Kind of like seven days, whenever you leave him doing all the gathering. No, no. I didn't leave him doing all the gathering. It was only like 99% of it. Don't do me a disservice. That's a dang lie. Oh, I forgot to bring my canteen. Sure, it was the grind you found painfully like repetitive. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, all the quests, they, they're, you know, we had to, like, build a new base, and go do the stuff, and so the, the the grind of rebuilding everything every time just for, like, a short mission was, uh, just got to be too much for him. You and eight friends playing party animals would be fun. Oh, I should actually fire that up for the charity stream. That would be fun. The grind, huh? Not the petty was attached to. No, that was Ark, not this. <laughs> the dinosaur was an Ark, and I that killed that years ago. <laughs> I have no idea why I like it so much, but it just uh, resonates with my soul. I mean, it's a good survival game. If you, the thing is, if you like survival games, it's good. There's a couple that I've been meaning to try that have been out for ages. Um, Scum and Rust. I've been meaning to try those out at some point, too, and I just haven't done it yet. And then there's a bunch of new stuff coming out. So on on December 7th, supposedly the day before is supposed to come out. Supposedly. It's been... So there's been so much controversy and delays around that game, I'm not really holding my breath. But it's supposed to come out. Nightingale's coming up. Uh... What other ones have I got on my radar? Shrouded is coming up. Pacific Drive is coming up, which is kind of a neat one. Uh, I haven't checked out the front yet. I really kind of want to try that out. Uh, Winter Survival is coming up. That's like February release, that one. All kinds of survival games coming. Super Auto Pets for the stream. <laughs> Again, it, it's, it's going to boil down to what I think people are going to end up watching. I, I don't... Even when I was playing Super Auto Pets before, no one was really watching it. I just played it because I felt like playing it. So if I'm doing a charity stream and there's nobody there, it doesn't raise a lot of money for charity. Day before devs like to wait until the week before release day before pushing back. It was removed off your wishlist uh, two pushbacks ago. It was actually removed from Steam altogether two pushbacks ago. They had a dispute over the name. Uh, someone else had se secured the copyright of the name, apparently, and so they had to try to, like, fight to get it back or something is their story. Uh, I, I don't know. Like, I, I don't really have strong confidence in A, that it'll come out, or B, that it'll be good when it does come out, but I still want to I still want to check it out. I'm hopeful, but I'm not, uh, I'm not expecting it to be good. Just with all the stuff that's been going on. So they had removed it entirely from Steam, and then... Now, they've recently put out a trailer, again, saying it's coming out December 7th. So we'll see what happens. This game is just poorly designed and Rust is multiplayer PvP. They had some PvE servers, but even still, they had hard resets every two or four weeks. It's terrible. I mean, some people really like it, though. That's the thing. Like, it's, you know, some there's some games that are just very polarizing. Some people really like DayZ, some people hate it. Some people really like... You know, Rust and other and think it's the best survival game out there, and other people really hate it. So I don't know. I've never tried it myself, so that's why I was kind of thinking I might try it. Okay, we need uh, we need drills. If we're gonna get that stuff, I think I could put at least two drills in that thing. Battlefield deep mining drill. Ooh, I could make one of those suckers right now. I've got a gold deposit like sitting on my animal pen. We could put that on. That's not what I need. I need this. The biofuel extractor. We need copper nails, gold wire, iron ingots. I should have most of that stuff, if not all of it already. Somewhere here. How much gold wire was that? Cool whip. Gold wire, 25, so we should try to make 50 gold wire, I guess. Uh, makes five apiece, so I need 10 of these.
Played 400 plus hours of Rust on custom servers, but unless you're playing daily, not worth it. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's like, uh, that's why I didn't do uh, ARC PvP and stuff, because people are constantly raiding your things, and... Now, in my defense... Ice border. I don't recall seeing that before. Uh, in my defense, I don't expect I would actually survive through the first day, so... I don't really need to play daily if I'm not alive, I guess. How many... <laughs> I was just looking at that, and then it completely left my head. Where'd it go? I need 20 copper nails. Okay, god. Like Scum's crafting system, but their inventory management was a major pain. Oh, yeah. I've been noticing that they've been posting a lot on social media lately about, like, updates they're working on. Uh, fuel extractor. Craft. Oh. Okay. Two biofuel extractors. We can put one of them on the horse. Is it still going? I'm wasting my fuel. Uh, I need to make some more bullets and stuff before I try this. I also need more biofuel. We'll take the stuff out of the stove here. So I don't need this at the moment. Stick that in there. We've got a fair amount of sap in here still, so I just need more uh, sticks and or fiber. Make sticks. Active water connection will increase. Why is it not doing anything? I have sticks in there and I have tree sap in there. Oh, <laughs> I put the, uh, I miscollected and I put the uh, biofuel cans in my own inventory. I'm smurt. Only the smurtest for me. This is smart. SMRT. Yeah, I have two cans now because I uh, I had crafted. Um, I thought there was a, a button that would move everything at once. Maybe it's got to be a different game. Um, I crafted another one when I was working on the uh, the cooking recipes. I'm gonna give you two tips for Rust. Trust no one and uninstall. <laughs> nice. I don't know, I heard everyone so nice on there. Did you ever play Control? No, I didn't play Control. I heard there was a lot of, like, uh... A lot of Easter eggs in LMA2, though. Related to Control. Uh, I'll never end up playing it on the channel, I don't think. Because story games... Um... Story, like story intensive games have really not done well for me this last month has just been atrocious because <laughs> I played played the invincible and I played uh, quite a bit of um, Alan Wake 2 uh, and they just did like abominably terrible in terms of like overall view performance Paint Icarus forever skies sons of the forest seven days to die there are plenty of great titles to keep you busy until then oh god I got I have too many honestly I have uh what do we got? Uh, uh, they're, I think they're working on an update for I Am Future, Sons of the Forest. I haven't played in a while. I should go back. They've done a bunch of updates for that. Forever Skies, to your point. I want to check out the front because I'm curious about that one. Um, State of Decay 2, I haven't played in a while and they've had updates for that I want to play. There have been updates that have come out for Small Land and also for Survival Fountain of Youth. Just to name a couple. So, yeah, I could absolutely fill my, fill my calendar with all kinds of other games. <laughs> Troll is way more action than LMA. Well, it's about, uh... I don't know. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm a little gun-shy about getting into another game like that right now. I'm still gonna play out Alan Wake, uh, but I'm just gonna do them as recordings and upload them, because I still want to finish the game. I, I'm actually finding it really interesting. It's just doing really well. Or really poor, terrible. <laughs> Can't talk. It's just really, doing really poorly 
from a viewer perspective, and it killed my subscriber growth, too. I, I had negative subscriber growth for like two weeks. It was like the first time in years on my channel. Great, the mechanic sacrifice is coming back. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I need ammo for the gun. Sorry, I was, uh, I'm distracted. I know it's a first. And then in here, the ammo requires what? Ammo casings, of which I only have nine, so we need to make more ammo casings. Takes iron ingots. I thought it was... Alright, I thought it was copper we used for the ammo casings. Did they change that? Rough iron ammo casing that could be used to... Huh. I thought that's why I had all this copper in here. <laughs> okay. Uh, I need iron. Front's good for how young it is, but it's uh, still just an early access Rust PVE wannabe. Oh, is it? I mean, a lot of games can be said to be like a such and such wannabe, though, so it's. You know. See how big these stacks go. It's like your book till around 2025 in terms of games, yeah, <laughs> practically. Watch a little invincible, but it's something I'd like to experience for myself. Yeah, so there's there's two things with those story based games is like, one, if you're not the first one to get the content out, then other people tend to see it and they watch it, and then there's not really reason to watch it again. Like the, you can make some minor decision, like different decisions and stuff in the game, but it doesn't dramatically alter the context of the story. You can get some different endings, but that's it. Um, so it doesn't have a lot of repeatability there. And then the people who just really want to play through the story themselves rather than watch someone else play it. So story games tend to be a challenge that way, I've found. Oh my god, this gunpowder is so slow. Wait, what happened? Was it? Oh, it's still going. Man, it's slow. Slow, slow, slow production of that stuff. Gunpowder and ammo casings. Okay, well, whatever. That's all it takes. So wait, isn't there one here for like multiples? Incendiary rifle round. Could be making these ones, not, not those ones. 15. Same, same basic outcome. Incendiary round is uh, the same, just takes more gunpowder. Oh, actually, you need a rifle round first before you can make the incendiary rounds. Interesting. Oh, whatever. Like, only in the Car Mechanic Simulator? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I played quite a bit of Car Mechanic Simulator. It was a strange game in that... Uh, I wasn't really expecting much of it when I started playing it initially. You know, I was like, ah, oh, I, I, I had this, this weak spot for simulator games for some reason. So I gave, just gave it a whirl, and uh, it turned out to be one of the, like the better performing games on the channel, oddly enough. <laughs> forty-three bullets and forty-three arrows. I mean, I don't know if that's enough or not. Have I gotten over my fear of small land yet? What do you mean, my fear of small land? I didn't know. I didn't have a fear of it. I got distracted playing something else, and then I forgot to go back to it, but. Less damage, but chance of setting things on fire. Kind of point the significance bosses. Yeah, I found that with most things in games like this. Like, there's also poison arrows and stuff you can get. Again, really not useful unless you're fighting a boss. Because anything else, you're pretty much killing before it gives a chance to do anything. Um, if I'm going to drill this stuff, I'm going to want some way to protect myself a little bit. So let's... Uh, seven foundations. That's not really going to be enough. Uh, well, we'll craft them anyway. I'll put some foundations and some walls around that thing, so I get a little uh, little cover to stand on when I'm shooting. <laughs> Look at the barricades with spikes and ramparts. Great for point defense. Uh, yeah. You know, I've never actually made any of those things. 
Tech tree. Do I even have them unlocked? That's gonna be a good question. Oh wait a minute. They're lower tier, aren't they? Not there. Oh, maybe it's not lower tier. I just passed him? Trouble is, there might be a bit of a stream delay, and so you saying I just passed them could have been a while ago? <laughs> you don't have to predict the drill under the radar. So stuff doesn't attack anymore when you start drilling? I'd really rather not have the drills destroyed. Oh, there they are here. Wood spike fortifications, or medium wood hedgehogs. Medium sized hedgehog. I think these are what I'm going to want. What's wood spike fortifications? Wood and rope. 60 and 4, 80 and 6. What are these crafted? Just in the regular crafting bench? Or do I do them in my own inventory? Well, there's the hedgehogs. Scorpion wood hedgehog. Oh, there it is. Wood spike fortifications. Wood and rope. I need some stuff. Oh crap, it's raining. Does this game have creative mode? This game? No. Well, they have like a... Uh, I guess they sort of do. <laughs> they have uh, an outpost mode. Where you don't have uh, any any enemies attacking, you don't have any missions or anything like that. You still have to like gather the resources to build in it, but it's not like a creative mode where you can just build without like getting anything. The spikes have to go to the fortification walls. Oh, really? You can't just like put them down? Well, that's lame. That's probably more effort than I want then. Oops. I'll just make some stone walls. I don't really need anything fancy. We can stand on top of it. I don't think we're going to have too much trouble with stuff attacking, but I just want to be prepared just in case. I know. I know. I'm never prepared. But, you know, stuff happens sometimes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oh, I see a lightning strike. It's been a while since we've had that. No, it hasn't. It's been like a couple streams. I got blasted a couple times. It made my face hurt. I didn't like it. Stick that in my G spot. That on my horse. Good job, horse thing. More bullets. Alright. Decently armed. This should be alright. Ever bigger repair hammer. I got one. We're good. Uh, I need to make another torch. Apparently my torch burned out. That's fun. Requires sulfur. Was it sulfur and sticks? Maybe some fiber? It's more fun for us if you're not prepared. <laughs> Sometimes I like to succeed, though, you know? Not all the time, but, you know, sometimes. I'll show you guys I'm not a complete idiot all of the time. Okay, what time of day is it right now? How do I see the time of day? 
1542. So we got a little bit before we can sleep. You need some monster bait? <laughs> Fill up my oxygen? Oh, yeah, I guess I probably should. I haven't done this in a while. Okay, it, the, these oxygen bottles last for so long, I kind of forget about it. Oh, I need, uh, I need stone walls. What's it like? Oh, so, so nails I need. Oh, I don't have enough. Uh, hmm. I must have more iron around here somewhere. Oh my god. Okay, I stand corrected. I ran out of iron. Holy crap. That is a minor problem. I have this here for making arrows with. Not to practice, just set it up and leave, then go back and collect your exotics and refuel it. I guess, as long as nothing's gonna attack it. Still not time! That's a minor problem. Ha! Ah, oh my god. You're so punny. I'm gonna check the cave in here and see if there happen to be the exotics in here. Because we haven't checked in here since the uh, the update. Hopefully my ramp is still here. It is! Hooray! It's way easier than swimming. It's all resealed. Can't see him. But you don't shoot me, you jerk. Ah, oh, got me. Stupid worms. What the heck is this? Cave worm vestige? Preserved memory of a once great cave worm? The heck is that? The new taxidermy would be so popular on Icarus. I guess that's for making a cave worm trophy? the first time I've seen that. Vestiges of the new trophy system, I see. Man, I forgot how big this cave is. Found a weird spot where we're inside but not inside. <laughs> it's, it's all very well lit in here now. Uh, I already strip mined this whole place, so there's no uh, there's no resources in here. Oh, there's actually a deep resource though. No nodes we can mine, but um, just thought I would spot check and see if we had any uh, any exotics hiding in here. Seems the answer is no. Back off, horse thing. It's your own filly. New trophies go well with the bear rugs. <laughs> oh, yeah. Ah, bear rugs. 
I need to make some of those. Rotten bears. Stick the trophy in here for now. <sighs> okay. Got stone. I can stick that in here. Okay, we got another cave back here we can check. If I can remember where it is. This one's kind of dark. It's a bit of a nuisance. Down the opening, at least. Build the thumper to respawn the ore in the cave, but it's crazy wave defense cycle to make it work. Oh, really? Well, that sounds like a nuisance. Very dark in here. Dark and spoopy. Need, uh, I think I ran something. Yeah. Oh, let's eat these before they go bad. <laughs> that was a perfectly good jump right there. There we go. Found one cave. There's a second one down below, but I gotta dig into it. Oh, where are you? Another trophy. Very weird. Well, the trophy's part of the new DLC, because I guess that would make sense that I'm starting to see them all of a sudden now. Very dark in this cave. It all turned around. me through the wall come on oh that's cheating you little jerk I guess I left some stuff behind in this cave that's handy Either that or I never came in here. I can't remember. There was, uh, there was another cave that I found in that underwater tunnel. I'm sure of that, at the least. Where's this other one? Hear him, but I don't see him. Okay, we got him. God, scared me for a second. 
Okay, I can get some iron while we're in here since I need that. Uh, but it doesn't look like there's any exotics in here. Well, that's a bummer. At least we got iron. We've got the irons. Uh, there's a gold deposit here too. I thought this pickaxe sometimes smelts them into the bars for me. We're not finishing off the nodes. What do you mean I'm not finishing off the nodes? I might have missed one node where the 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 um the ramp was, but otherwise I did. Now it's done. No backseat mining. <laughs> that I'd said I'd. I've only found, uh, I, th I think in the total time that I played the game. I've only found a mineable exotic node in a cave like two or three times in total, I think. That's copper there. There's uh, two deep nodes in this cave. I think one copper and one gold. And I just got pneumonias. A completely illogical illness in the game. Nobody mentioned he forgot his O2 tank yet? Oh. Nope, nobody mentioned that. But you're right. Probably should get that whole O2 thing. <laughs> I think it lasts a long time. Oh my god, wouldn't that be funny if I died of suffocation? It'd be like the first time in forever. God, I hate how dark this, this tunnel is. I need a light that works underwater. <laughs> Do I have a, uh, a Steam Deck? No, I don't, actually. I decided against getting the Steam Deck because I was pretty sure it would lead to my divorce. <laughs> I was like, if my wife has me, like, off the computer but still playing computer games, I was pretty sure I'd wind up divorced. So I decided not to, uh, not to get one. I have a Nintendo Switch, which is, uh, you know, a similar problem, except I don't really play it. Somehow it just seemed... Seems like a better idea not to buy one. <laughs> It'll come up sometime, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna switch. I have over 220 physical games for it. Really? I think we have, uh, two. <laughs> Animal Crossing and, uh, like, uh, Mario Kart game or something. 
think is all we have. I don't know. My daughter desperately wanted a Nintendo Switch for Christmas. I think it was last year. And so, after after a lot of begging and stuff, we ended up getting her a Switch for Christmas. And then she's hardly played it. Typical. I always want something until you have it. And then you don't really want it anymore. Or at the very least, it's just not as important anymore. Oh good, the trophy stack. That's a plus. Okay, we've got our drill things. Let's uh let's grab some fuel. These should be filled now. Yeah. Let's go get some exotics. Hi ho, pig faced pony away. Uh, if you had a picture channel in Discord, I could share it. My kids have switched to. Uh, I do have a picture. It's it's called More Pick Spam. Is the uh, the channel in Discord for it? I my own consoles: NES, SNES, Sega, and OG PlayStation. My kiddos aren't allowed to touch those without me. <laughs> nice, Evie. I don't have any of my old consoles anymore. I'm not enough of a pack rat to keep him around, I guess. Mind you, if I went right back to the OG one, it'd be like the Atari 2600. <laughs> uh, I just got your OLED one. Was trying to see what games would be good on it. Oh, on the uh, uh, on the Steam Deck. It sort of depends what you like to play. Unfortunately, but it's kind of a big thing. Forgot that one for a sec, yeah. <laughs> Good old Atari. I had a friend that had the ColecoVision. Never had it myself. Moonlander for the win. <laughs> Original Pong. Star Control. Missile Command. Asteroids. <laughs> Pitfall, yeah, I played a lot of Pitfall. Can't go wrong with the E.T. there as well, you know. <laughs> Kept your Commodore VIC-20 for a long time, but let it go. Yeah, I had a Commodore 64 was my first, uh, my first computer. I used to play a game on there called Defender of the Crown all the time. That and, uh, I played, like, Maniac Mansion... Uh, and this game called Zack McCracken and the Alien Mindbenders that was like my favorite game for the longest time. Burger time. Yeah, burger time. Classic. <laughs> Anyone younger watching this is like, what is wrong with all of you? Those are all trash. <laughs> Oh, you stupid horse. I jumped down into the stupid ditch that time. I didn't even try to clear it. The, uh, the original, what was it, uh, Sid Meier's Pirates or whatever? That was a good one. So much done with so little. Yeah, they really had to, like... They had to be pretty inventive. Now there's... Like, when you look at AAA titles now, there's so much focus on the graphics that they forget about making a good game. Alright, we got one. Load this sucker up with some fuel. Come on, horse. I need the other one. Nope. That's not what I meant to do. Okay. 
There's like all three on here. Just don't have space to carry three. Boom! We're mining exotics for like the first time in forever in this game. I should, I should try to make one of the condenser things too. I've never actually played around with those. Okay, so we'll let that do its thing. Uh, I don't know how long the fuel is going to last, but uh, i got to make some more fuel cans, I guess. Wolfenstein 3D, the original Duke Nukem. That was a good one. <laughs> I have to switch fuel once at least. I figured I would. I'll have to make fuel cans because I gotta I gotta actually craft more fuel. Doom and Duke Nukem, Paperboy. I played this game on a really long time ago on the Commodore 64. I think it was called Potty Pigeon. And you were basically a pigeon flying along. The objective was to poop on the windshields of cars. <laughs> you could like poop on people walking on the street and stuff. Epic. Team next mostly an indie machine. Hades, Cult of the Lamb, Vampire Slayer, Slay the Spire, etc. Oh, nice. You remember that one? <laughs> yeah. Potty Pigeon. The finest in video gaming technology. Hubert. Oh, jeez. The heck? My horse is clipping through the ground. Hold it together, animal. God. The number of times on this street on this channel we've gotten into like nostalgic old video games. <laughs> Oregon Trail, you've died of dysentery. This mount is a puke machine. Well, the way you're, like, your character sits too rigidly on the animal, so he, like, thrashes around too much while it's running. I, I, they kind of need to rework the animation and give it a little bit more of a natural movement. Sort of kids, OG Zelda versus the new one, and they were floored. My 13 year was like, I'm so sorry I had to go through that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'd like kids to make you feel old, huh? Leisure Suit Larry, oh my god. Leisure Suit Larry in the Land of the Lounge Lizards. Classic. An entire game built around trying to get laid. <laughs> oh god. You know, I don't think I ever actually played the original Mist. I was aware of it, I just never played it. Boopity boop. I wonder if I can put a drill on this without getting rid of my fence. Space Quest, yeah. Oh, the original XCOM. I, I loved that game. At the time it came out, I didn't have a computer, but my girlfriend at the time did. I'd go over to her house and play it there. <laughs> that was a cool boyfriend. Oh, it takes iron ingots to make the biofuel cans, huh? We're here, here, Lee. I should. Oh, I should turn this on earlier. Crap! I wasn't paying attention. Okay, let's see if I can place this thing. Oh, what? Wait. Oh, huh? that just goes in my inventory. That's weird. Why is that not a G-spot drill? Giggity. Deploy. Oh, I can! Right through my fence! Suck it, fence. I wonder if it'll take damage. Earthworm gem. Yeah, the worm inside the mech suit. <laughs> Uh, 
Right, give me another one of these at least. I'm gonna need to make two of those, but we'll get one of them started. Ooh, I'm almost out of sap. Might need to get some more trees so we can get some more sap because I gotta hack up some more branches. First MMO for me was Ultima Online. First MMO for me was EverQuest. Never played Ultima Online. Earthworm Jim on Cherry Stream, part of Nostalgia Series. <laughs> I don't even know where I would get Earthworm Jim at this point. Do they have it on Steam or something? That'd be funny. Again, it's uh, like. A lot of it boils down to like, what are people actually gonna watch? Because if I'm if I'm playing a game and there's like ten people, they're like, oh yeah, this is great, nostalgia, but nobody else there, then that's a problem because you're not raising money for a charity if you don't have people watching. <laughs> We're gonna watch. Oh, Bennett Foddy, no, not happening. No Bennett Foddy. Legend of Dragoon and WoW. Yeah, I did. I played a while, quite a while. I started playing World of Warcraft before the first expansion was out. Not right at the very beginning of the game. I, I had a buddy that got into it before me, but... <clears throat> Way better to remember than to play. Yeah, that's the thing with nostalgia, right? <laughs> the current reality never holds up to the past memories. What's the next cherry stream? So, it's not, uh, it's not set in stone just yet, but I'm planning for December 16th and 17th. It'll be 12 hours each day. Uh, probably three or four games a day. I'm kind of leaning towards doing three three games a day, so I spend like four hours per game. Um, but I haven't really figured out my lineup yet, so depending on what I want to play will depend on how I set up the timing for that. Uh, I'm connecting with the charity at the start of next week. Uh, I reached out to them at the end of last week, but they weren't ready for me just yet. So um, early next week, I'll be in touch with Covenant House Toronto, and they'll they're setting up my uh, my login and stuff for their site. And then, based on that, I'll get uh, everything sorted out. But right now, I'm, I'm planning for December 16th and 17th. And I'll put out, um, I'll put out, a, like, I'll try to communicate out a bunch of times, too, um, so that people are aware. And do my annual, uh, my annual message to, uh, to Ryan Reynolds and Blake Lively to see if they're interested in supporting the stream. <laughs> so far... It's been uh, a, non a non-responsive message, but we'll see. You know, never give up. <laughs> what about the granny horror games? I've never played those, actually. Kids with sticks and stones were the OG Command and Conquer. Yeah. EverQuest is still running as an MMO. So they were... Did EverQuest 2 ever come out? I remember them talking a lot about it, and I, I never really paid any attention after I stopped playing EverQuest. Fuel time remaining is shown on drill under fuel slot. Huh? What you talking about, Willis? Oh, you mean when you're actually looking at the drill? <laughs> It'd be cool if I could get it like at home, it would tell me how much I had left. They're like, you'll need to go and refill your drill now, sir. Played EverQuest 2 for many years. Oh, okay. I had a friend that was living in Toronto at the time, and I was in the Niagara region. And uh, I drove up to visit him one weekend, and he was showing me uh, EverQuest. I think it was in beta at the time, and he was playing it. I was like, oh my god, this is like the coolest thing ever. So I ended up playing that for a while. The EQ next that shut down. Oh, okay, okay. Huh. Mods for ASA? I, I, yeah, I hardly ever mod anything. Should you make a total of three cans, two for swap and one for the deep mining drill outside? Uh, yes. I was getting to it. It was still uh, still smelting uh, iron bars, though. I, I totally didn't forget. I was 
Look, I'm one, I'm one short. <laughs> Perfect. I'm gonna have to chop more trees now so I can get more sticks. Did WoW waiting for a couple of years, but it took way too much time away from Rira. Yeah, I, I, um, so I played through it, and then I got my cousin in it, and we used to raid together. But I got so that raiding was the only thing I would do, so I would play it like two days a week, kind of thing, just if just for raid day. And then an expansion would come out, and you'd like rush the expansion content, and then just go back into that cycle of raiding every like, couple days a week, kind of thing. There was a point in which I sort of stopped playing it, and then every now and then I get the itch and I really want to play it again, and so I'll go back and I play some more, and then I realize I remember why I quit. <laughs> I just wasn't really enjoying the game anymore. Although I was tempted to play WoW Classic and just see what it was like, but... Two box DQ and DAOC for many years. Nice. Still looking to queue for grins and giggles. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, uh, I made a bunch of money off of EverQuest in the day. So, when uh, eBay was still in its infancy, uh, I was playing EverQuest, and EverQuest didn't have a mechanism in it to track quests, which was ironic, because the game was EverQuest. So, you, like, you had to, like, figure out what you were supposed to do for all the different things when you wanted something. And sometimes finding information online sucked, because people would have the wrong info out. So I, I compiled a guide of, like, all these quest things, and then I sold it on eBay, and I would mail people printed copies of this quest guide. <laughs> I didn't get rich off it or anything, but it uh, put some, gave me some pocket money for a while. And then I had a friend who just, uh, who one-upped me by just, like, leveling accounts and selling me accounts. <laughs> I'm thinking about Lady, but keep telling myself I don't want to be owned by it for another three years. Which, wow, yeah. Yeah, it does, it does tend to take over a little bit. Ugh, this is such a slow process, filling these things. <laughs> Nerd! But that's cool. Yeah, <laughs> It was nerdy, but it was... It took me a lot of time to compile all the information. Because I had to like comb through forums and stuff to figure things out. But it, uh, it made me a little bit of money. It was alright. I should make the alteration bench. I haven't actually crafted that yet. Copper nails and rope and such. I need rope. I need like some rope. Uh, copper nails. I'll just make a bunch of these. That's the nerdy part. Looking it all up. Yeah. And, well, I'm looking it up and then typing it out in a word document and like it was just. Uh... <laughs> It was a slow going process. I was working at a call center job at the time, because uh, I was in university. And uh, so I would, when it was quiet at work, I would spend time looking up the info and working on this guide. So I had a side hustle like way, way back when. It just wasn't, uh, wasn't as effective as maybe YouTube, but. Uh, that's the glass. Where did that alteration bench go? There. Um, rope. I need epoxy and iron. Hey, Stefan. Selling to Chinese gold farmers. Yeah. <laughs> Selling accounts. Money, money earned back then. Yeah. And also, which... Was it Diablo 2 or Diablo 3? There was a really... I think it was Diablo 2. There was a pretty brisk market for accounts, too. I don't remember. I got together with some buddies and we were, like, leveling and grinding and, like, selling stuff. I think it was Diablo 2, because Diablo 3 is the one where they introduced the in-game market. Definitely 2, yeah. Yeah, so I made some money off of that also. Way back when. Way back in the long, long ago. It was just, I was just always looking for, like, something that would let me make money without having to actively work for it. <laughs> <laughs> I was lazy even back then, apparently. Who knew? Okay, so I can make the alteration bench now. Where 
Where the heck can I put this thing? I'm kind of running out of room in this base. It's maybe not the most best laid out base ever. Stick it right here, why not? Okay. Press the ultra item or craft attachment. What attachment's gonna oh my god, I forgot there were so many of these freaking things. Carcass connoisseur. Huntsman oh man. These are too there's just too much on here. Sniper scope, lightweight frame attachment, hand cannon attachment. Repair speed. Yeah, repair man one when attached to an item. Minus six percent action hold time, minus ten percent stamina. That's actually not that good. Grant Titanium Smith 1 when attached to an item, plus 25% yield for mining titanium. Cave Dweller. Be attached to helmet? Really? Charcoal and copper ingots. I'm making that sucker. Got all kinds of charcoal. Lots of copper ingots, too, actually. That's not it. Supplemental respiration attachment. Craft. Look how the symbol on the left side it will filter by list type. Yeah, it's just the lists are huge. I don't know what I'm looking for. Okay, inventory. How do we even attach this thing? Do I just drag and drop it? Can I not attach it to this armor because it's not like regular armor? <laughs> or do I have to go in here and then alter an item? Uh, okay, that's probably what it is. Place an item in the slot above to access access attachments. Very confused about how this works. Does this thing not allow me to? It might not. Mm -hmm. Only two plant pickaxes and give one plus plat and one plus titanium. Oh, that's handy. Station armor doesn't upgrade. It doesn't have upgrade slots. Ah, uh, okay. Well, that was a waste. <laughs> Should have known. Dang it! Dang you, station armor. Okay, what else can we slap on here? Let's, uh, what kind of weapon attachments have we got? Spear, sickle, bow attachments. We'll grant scope one when attached to an item. Plus 20% aiming speed, 15% zoom. Highlight one. Fired projectiles are highlighted. Strengthened string attachment. Increased arrow speed, less wear rate of items, less stamina consumed by actions, and faster reload speed. That's pretty good. Economic attachment. We'll grant budget one. Minus 5% projectile break chance, minus 25% wear rate of item. Uh, reduced wear rate would be nice. I'm thinking like, I'm thinking the strengthened string attachment's pretty good. Refined wood, rope, and steel. Oh, that was platinum, wasn't it? That's platinum! I got steel in here, probably. Steel. Rope. Fine wood. I don't remember how much for fine wood it called for. There we go. Craft that sucker. Only for armor you make. Yep, I get it. I get it. I'm disappointed, but I understand. Okay, and then I can slap this in here. Put the strength and strength attachment on there. And then alter it. This is fast. <laughs> well, I should see if there's one for pickaxes, actually. 
if I can modify a thing that's already got a uh, yeah attachment slot available. Is there anything that has a? Oh, these ones don't. Yeah. Is there anything that has a like two attachment slots? No. Got an achievement for altering a thing. Okay, we're bow with sturdy one. Okay, that's good. Very nice. Very nice. Okay, what about pickaxes? Ten percent melee damage, melee attack speed, plus twenty five percent yield from mining gold, mining copper, mining platinum, mining titanium. I mean hitting faster would be nice. I don't really have a specific need of a particular ore right now. I need more steel. Epoxy. Yeah, I'm gonna check for rifle upgrades. I think there may be one for speed up reloading. Ooh, yeah, that's a good idea. Because the, uh, the bolt action rifle is pretty slow. Let's see. Rifle attachments. Flexible frame. One is 50% carry weight of firearms, plus 25% movement speed while aiming down sights. Sniper attachment. Silencer attachment, plus 20% stealth damage. One is 50% perceived threat. Or scope one. So there isn't one here for faster reloading, it looks like. Zoom, crit damage, and harden point penetration. Hey, Ashley. You do have gold in your base? Who, what? Where? What? Yeah, I do. I've, I, there's a there's a deep uh, a deep gold uh, deposit right outside my base, actually. <clears throat> Which reminds me, I gotta put the fuel in it. Right here, hey, look, gold. Boop. Twin powers activated. It's amazing it doesn't damage the fence, but whatever. Let that do its thing. I can't believe I got lucky enough to have a node show up like right there. <laughs> That's pretty sweet. Okay, so uh, this is for the pickaxe. I'll make the bolt action anymore. I make the shotgun, then make slugs instead of buckshot. What's the range like on the slugs? Is it is it still good? I really like the hunting rifle, but they moved it up to like a tier four, and I don't have all that stuff done yet. Boop. Look at that. Cool, man. Okay, so I can make more attachments later. Uh, what do we got going on here? Ran out of, ran out of sap again. Need those to be refilled so we can ride back and swap them out. Chop some trees down. Decent, mostly use bow for range and then shoddy when they get close. Found it was best for me when doing the enzyme extractions or exotics. Oh yeah. Well, so the um, the shotgun does it 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 has better penetration, right? Or am I wrong? For like hardened points or whatever. So no, there's some enemies that just the the rifle does not work very well on. Slugs, yeah. That's cool. 
<sighs> Excuse me. I ran out of stuff to drink down here. No bueno. Uh, Alright, I need uh, sap, so I'm going to need sticks. Oh, yeah, actually, sorry, I didn't notice you popped in. I'm a little unobservant today. Or some might say always. <laughs> I do have a mini fridge down here. It just happened to be out of stuff to drink. I think I have some... I have some bottles of, like, Crown Royal, and I think there might be vodka and some rum in there, but I have nothing to mix it with. <laughs> I forgive you this time. This time. Oh, I can make a trek from the wood in here? Wait a minute. Takes four branches. I feel like it's a worse trade off on using regular wood, but I don't know. Out of water in a desolate environment. Quick, uh, you know what? Hold on, give me a half a second. I'm just going to double check. I might have something. Nope, nothing. I need to restock. Normally keep, like, water and stuff down here. I had some of these, like, cans of Cel San Pellegrino blood orange carbonated water things. They're all gone. Oh, Ninja Gaiden and Shinobi. Oh, man. Shinobi on the stand-up arcade game was awesome. I spent so many quarters on that game. Give it up, Joseph's posting it. I'm now concerned about Fox suddenly finding a new drink. <laughs> What's this now? Out of water in a desolate environment. Quick, learn from Bear Grylls and drink your own... Oh, no. Nope. <laughs> nope. Not doing that. I'm not an astronaut. Don't need to drink my own pee. Thank you very much. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> shots, shots, shots. That's just what I need. Let's get blitzed on stream, everybody. Alright, they're gonna be 200 snaps so that we'll get this going. Oh my god. It is 11.30 at night and the girls are still crazy loud upstairs. For anyone wondering, my daughter's having a sleepover and they are not quiet. <laughs> it's 11.30 and they're still going at it. It's gonna be a rough day tomorrow. Anytime she's up like crazy late like this, it's just brutal the next day. I made duplicates do that. What, drink their own pee? No. Okay, yes. <laughs> yes, we did. Pretty much every time, too. Hear that, potential sponsors? Fox is thirsty for your product. Yeah, as long as it's not one of those, like, energy drink things. Simulate a drunken slurred speech, please. <laughs> what? Shooting for blackmail material, or what? What's going on here? Yeah? You want true money? Well, come find it, because I don't know where it is, you big baloney. You make me want a wretch. Flip the breaker and scare him. <laughs> it would shut off the stream, though. <laughs> that would have detrimental effects on my computer's ability to operate. You know, requiring power and all. Try having five girls. Oh my god. Two's bad enough, Justin. I don't know. I'd be dead, I think. And I'm fairly certain I wouldn't survive. No G Fuel sponsorships? Nah, I'm not into those, uh, energy drink things. 
I must be old or something. I don't get it. I, I don't understand the obsession with them, honestly. I, it seems to be like... Predominantly, it seems to circulate in like the... Uh, the competitive competitive gaming space type games. Like first-person shooters and that kind of thing. Everybody's drinking G Fuel and... Who's getting smashed, bro? <laughs> it's just not me. I'm pretty. I'm convinced the spiffing Brit has a tea sponsorship, but I'm not sure about that. Happy with one daughter. Good plan, Higgs boson. Yeah, <laughs> Higgs boson. Science. G Fuel and OnlyFans. Bailey sponsor would have been. Oh yeah, Bailey's have been great. Especially if they provided free beverages. Mm, babies. You know what's better than Christmas? Christmas with a nice Baileys and coffee. Hmm. Hook me up, Baileys. <laughs> Daughter will have a son soon. Sounds like a good balance. Hopefully, yeah. The idea is you get your son to beat up all the guys that hit on your daughter. I ended up with two daughters. So in our household, we have a female cat, two female dogs, my two female daughters, my wife. It's just me and our other cat, Timber, that are male in our household. We're, we're sorely outnumbered. <laughs> I <laughs> hear evil like that. You have four kids, you think you've earned it. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> Let's see how the. How much longer does this thing show that it has? Fuel time, one hour, 55 minutes. That's a pretty long amount of time. So I don't think I'm even going to need to refill the drills tonight on the. Uh, well, unless, they're, unless it consumes at a different rate on the one that's doing the exotics. There's some six older kids ruined for everyone else. <laughs> Couldn't have friends over. Oh, yes. <laughs> You're the one getting beat up at home. Oh, yeah. I'm absolutely outnumbered and I never get my way. I mean, I've told you all the story about how we ended up with pets, right? I don't, know, I don't remember, she has three older brothers, she's never dating, ever. Nice. That's the way it should be. <laughs> should probably start working on the tier four benches, I guess, right? The fabricator. Fabricator. I've got the uh, aluminum. Concrete mix will be a problem. Carbon fiber is an issue, too. I can't remember how to make the carbon fiber. Is that in here? Yeah. I gotta get the carbon paste, which is made here. That requires... Wow, all kinds of stuff. Uh, okay. Aluminum. I've got... Got a little bit of aluminum in here. I might have to go searching for aluminum, I guess. Aluminum silica I'm all out of, because I used that to make a mountain of glass that I needed for bottles, so I'm going to have to get some more silica. Card base, I've seen how to make that on some Thanksgiving cooking clips online. <laughs> nice. That was what I got at the time. 17.53. Come on, seven minutes. You guys, but you started dating when you were 14 and you were 15 and now we're married with kids. Oh my goodness, wow. See, you know, that's stick to right there. Four boys, two girls, grandkids, six girls, ten boys. Oh wait, four boys, two girls, and then grandkids, six girls, and ten boys. Oh my god. Xmas is expensive. I believe you. Holy crap. Bad enough just, uh, Christmas with two girls. Get off of there. Leave my fence alone, you jerk. That's right, back off. 
Mm -hmm. It's so dark out here. Attacking my fence during a storm. Might want to check the exotic drills while you're getting silica. Yeah, I was uh, waiting for these canisters to fill up with fuel. It's almost full. We got one full canister. I need a second one. So I'll probably swap the canisters out anyway, and then uh, I'll take the exotics back. And I think we still have the dropship here, don't we? Oh no, it left. Anyway, I'll call in a dropship so that we can send it up to the station and actually cash in a little bit. Ka-ching! Have you ever actually played Raid Shadow Legends? No, but I've been emailed by them like 20 times asking me if I want to do a sponsorship for them. <laughs> I heard the horse get hurt. What was that? What the heck are you doing? Oh, you're out of food, you jerk. Stop it. Okay, oh, he's hungry. Okay, I better put some food in there. Or he destroys everything on me. Big jerk. We'll give him carrots. He likes carrots. I even have carrots in his inventory right now. Nope. There, eat the carrots, you jerk. Stop freaking out and kicking stuff. Typical horse. Take the sponsor, but only stream Minesweeper for that. <laughs> Doesn't work that way. They don't pay you until afterwards. Plus, he signed a contract, so then he would be in uh, breach of contract, which would never be fun. Oh my god, what is going on? Are you joking right now? What are you so pissed about? I see what the problem is now. Oh, I took care of it. <laughs> that was a good dive bomb attempt. Jeez. Forgot about those guys. That's a good reason to put a roof over your barnyard. Another one down. Suck it, you jerks. Any more of you guys out here? Where are these things all coming from all of a sudden? Oh my god, there's another one. Oh, it might be too far away. Never run into this to this point. Mm. I wonder if they're attracted to the wounded. Oh. I hate that. Uh, I wonder if they're attracted to the wounded horse or something. Oh, you jerk. Mm. Or maybe it's this drac over here that's dead that's attracting them. He's only taking a little bit of damage, but that's kind of a nuisance. Look at them up there. I don't think they're going to stop. I have no idea what the effect of... Oh, I got him! <laughs> Suck it, bird!
Yeah, you guys don't like the gun, but whatever. Better than getting attacked by these things. They'll make it daytime. Maybe they won't bother him in the daytime. Don't use aimbot. I'm not using aimbot. That was all skill right there. I don't always throw potatoes. But when I do, they're mashed. Okay, I think I'm alright. Man, I can't believe how many of those things there were. That was crazy. Okay, let's drop some of this stuff off so we don't have the inventory all filled up. Ooh, cook up some steaks. Who doesn't like steaks? Mmm, steaks. Oh, I should get the meat out of that table, actually. Oh, it's white meat. It's not quite what I thought it would be. Anyway, can I make fat out of that or no? No. I can make raw meat out of it, though. Is it one to one? Yes, it is. So weird. I'll turn it into raw meat and then I'll turn the raw meat into fat and I can use that to make green corn. Don't get someone else to play the game for you. <laughs> I'm not a bad shot with the bow in this game. It's because I miss a lot doesn't mean it's bad. Or that I'm bad, whatever. Fox shoots a bull in the air where it lands. You know, <laughs> you know it's not. My dad, so my dad used to have a, a farm out west. He had a lot of pigeons. And... Uh, so we'd go out and we'd, we'd take shots at the pigeons, but they'd be on the barn roof and we'd be shooting at them with like a 22 rifle. So not super strong or anything, but he'd come out and give us heck and make a stop because he's like, look, everywhere, everyone you miss, that bullet's landing somewhere and it could be in some neighbor's cow. <laughs> like, oh yeah. Is this the game where no matter which way Fox aims, he kills a baby deer? Yeah, that was this game. If there was a baby deer anywhere near where I was shooting, it was the, the thing was dead. It would just it would like change the direction of my arrow flight and smoke the, the baby deer every time, without fail. Okay, let's go out for a ride. We need to find some silica. Uh, we'll take this guy with me. Hey, you know what? Actually, screw it. We'll leave the horse behind. I'm certain I'm faster on foot than riding that thing. <laughs> Sniper! Some days I can't miss, other days I can't hit. <laughs> nope, that's a drack. I tried to hit uh, a bull's butt with a BB. He failed to account for bullet drop and hit something sensitive. Oh no. <laughs> oh, that's awkward. Oh, groundhogs we used to shoot at too, actually. Oh, wait. I can't use this pickaxe for this. It's going to turn it into glass. I need the other pickaxe. I don't want it like auto smelting the silica on me. It'll take me way longer to collect what I need. Ow. 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 <laughs> Ow. I like injure myself the whole way down the hill. Hey, Peter. Beep. 
you see the game uh, Deliver Us Mars? It's free at the moment of the Epic Games. I have actually. I played Deliver Us Mars. There uh, should be a playlist on the channel with it. Good game. Definitely worth playing. Especially when it's free. Can't get better than free. Um, where did I put the pickaxe that was iron? There it is. I really should find platinum, I guess, to make a platinum pickaxe. Oh, I did make a sledgehammer. I'm gonna use that too at some point. Uh, okay, let's. Something was attacking my animals again, but I seem okay. That's yeah, hard at work. It's good. Very interesting for sure. Lost the whole day playing it yesterday. Yeah, it's another one of those story-based games that I that I really enjoy. Oh, I missed. Um, story-based games that I really enjoyed. It didn't do super well as a it's like content on the channel, but uh, definitely a good game. I enjoyed it. Ugh, so much for my so much for my accuracy. It's interesting seeing the devs highlight you're getting one of the young animals through the terrain. What? It's interesting seeing the devs highlight you're getting one of the young animals through the terrain. I, I'm not sure what you mean, Joe. Confused by your statement. Ow, you jerk! God, smoke me in the face. need some of this too actually for making uh, some of that resin stuff. Oh wait, now that I think of it, how have your exotics? Maybe I should get those first. It would suck to get all the way there and then have to throw the resources I just mined on the ground because I don't have enough carry capacity. Like Joe said, the devs were discussing about you. Which, uh, which devs? On Deliver Us Mars or something else? Jess Rager said, clip one of your shots. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then one of those, uh, compilation things. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, because there was that one that I shot, it went, like, uh, into the ground and came out somewhere else and killed the animal I was vaguely aiming at. That was fun. It'll be one of the toughest parts of streaming for me, balancing what I like to play with what people want to watch. It is, Jason. It's hard. Sometimes I don't make good choices, and it's actually really detrimental to, the, like, channel performance. So, like, uh, when I'm playing... Playing the Invincible and uh, Alan Wake 2, both good games, uh, both not good content for me, from a channel perspective. So it's always a balance. You sort of find a niche of things that uh, that you like that do relatively well, but there's just so much stuff that comes out that you end up wanting to play, and sometimes you got to pick and choose a bit. I haven't always been the best at doing that. The wait is why you bring the drop summon board. Oh, yeah, that would've been a good idea. <laughs> why didn't I think of that? I didn't answer that. <laughs> 10,000 beers in the wall. Ten thousand bottles of beer. Take one down and pass it around and wonder why you're sharing all your beer all around. Oh. Can't remember how to move. <laughs> I have a confession to make. Uh, if I see you playing Alan Wake 2, I'm like, nope. 
watching something else, find the game pretty boring, to be honest. Well, that's, uh, that's fair enough. I'm sure there's, uh, lots of other games that people do the same. Oh, you jerk. Oh no, little baby, what happened? Your mom died! Oh, it's tragic! Oh, that was... that didn't play out as I thought it would. That's better. What the heck was that symbol? Like a hardened point or something? Oh, this did stop. Oh my god, look how full it is. How much weight is that? Actually, I'm pretty good from weight perspective. That's alright. Nice. There are games I'll watch live, but I won't watch the video for... Yeah, you know, it's funny. So, I, uh, I've i done mostly streaming over the last few years. Every once in a while, I upload videos. Not as uh, not nearly as often as I stream. But when I do upload, they just perform terribly. <laughs> it doesn't matter what it is. I think I've just uh, I've built, like, a niche on YouTube that's around uh, streaming. So, like, there's not that many people that go and watch, like, the, uh, the recorded uploads. And then they don't get uh, shared around as much by YouTube, so they just don't get the same kind of visibility. It's funny. What of what hurts your views was the variety of games you play. The channels I've seen that play store games tend to only play one game at a time. Yeah, there's there's something to be said for that, but also it's like what audience have you already developed in terms of you know the the people who follow your channel? What is it they're looking for? Are they looking for those story games, or are they looking for something else that's more? Like, I, I tend to play a lot of survival games, stuff that's really open-ended, where it's not the same experience each time you see it. Oops, that was not what I meant to do. <laughs> um, and then also, things like... Um, with story-based content, like, speed matters. Like, how quickly can you get the content out? Because once people have already seen someone else play it, they're just not as inclined to want to watch you play it. Or, you know, and then... You know, as Ashley said, there's that, there's the interest level, like, are you even interested in that type of game or not? So, it's always a, I don't know, it's a balance. I don't, uh, don't mind what, what game you play as long as I'm there to point you around conflicting information. <laughs> yeah. And then there's that, there's the, uh, the troll aspect. <laughs> There's no one right thing on YouTube. That's just it, right? There's like so many different ways to do all of it. It's just a matter of like finding what works for you and then replicating it a whole lot. <laughs> See you playing a game I like watching, but won't watch the others play. Oh, thanks, Honor. Appreciate that. I need to find uh, find a way to carve out some more time to like. I I, I just I'm not going to be able to find more time to stream more often. Like, if I can get to the point where I'm going or I'm back consistently seven nights a week streaming, then that's good. But uh, I need to find ways to like upload other content because I just there's too many games to play now and too much I want to do and hard to get through it all when I when I want to play it all. And or I just need to be more choosy. Choosy moms choose Jeff. Can't stand story based games? Yeah, and there's probably a bunch of people like you, Midnight Tech, that don't like them either. Some people love them, some people don't. It's just sort of how it goes, right? There's some people who just despise survival games. They think it's like an awful grind, like a horrible experience, and why would you want to do that? Or. Like, I, I, my weakness is uh, simulation games. I, I find them weirdly entertaining. Many people might not. <laughs> Love Star Big Scene, just not sure why I couldn't get into Alan Wake. I don't know, maybe the story just didn't hit you right. Is what it is. Yeah, like everything. Let's 
go get this stuff sent back. Oh, I wanted to hit the... Where's that crater that I was at? I want to get some more silica before we go back to the base. Where the heck is my... It was over by my ship, so it should be like right up here. Simulations, you might like Transport Fever than Joy. There's a... Um, God, there's so many that I want to play that I can't find the time for. <laughs> There's uh, Alaskan Ice Road Truckers came out as a simulation game. I weirdly want to try it. Uh, I got a key sent to me for a parking lot simulator. <laughs> You're running a parking lot. I kind of want to try that. I don't know where I, whether I will or not, but... I haven't played uh, I haven't played too many simulation games lately. They're like my, uh, my weird guilty pleasure. Parking lot sims fun seeing a few people play it. It's just they're just so silly. Like most of them are janky. The graphics are really not anything to write home about, and the gameplay is usually usually just wacky. But they're weirdly entertaining. Like uh, people seem to like the contraband police one. That was fun. It did fairly well too, actually. Every now and then a simulation game will do well. Like Car Mechanic Simulator did like oddly. Oddly well for me over time. You played Ark Login Simulator? <laughs> I haven't had the I haven't had the pleasure of playing the login simulator for that. Just the regular game. I got a key sent to me for real estate simulator. A real, a real estate agent simulator, I think it is. Lots of silly things. Gas station simulator was a good one, yeah. <laughs> They're just they're, inevitably, there's there's something weird about, like, almost all of them. Unless they're trying really hard to be a good simulation, like Car Mechanic Simulator. But the other ones are usually, there's, there's something wacky about them. Aliens show up, or, like, weird stuff happens. Okay, we gotta call in a dropship so we can send our exotics up to the, uh... No exotic builder ship detected. Request. Man, they send it awfully quick when you click that button. It's like someone's just sitting there waiting for the go for launch button. What are you doing out here? Nice. Deliver to station, baby! <laughs> Prime is oddly enjoyable for me, although the repetitive nature of it uh, probably means it's better for vids than streams. Potentially, yeah. Sometimes with those uh, simulation games, it's better to have stuff you can really edit out. Kind of condense the content down to just the stuff that's more interesting. Bye bye, exotics! Okay, I don't know, I, I wasn't really paying attention to how much I sent up there, but it was over 100. What do we got here? We need, uh... We need silica in here. I need oxygen in here, too, actually. Yeah, my inventory's full in here. I need to make some of the organic resin. Wait, did I just need the silica? Was it silica straight that I needed? Oh, uh, wait, for the carbon paste. That's what I needed it for. Yeah. Okay, I gotta make organic resin. I need some wood in here. Steve Fox played Thief Simulator, many accidents can be had. Yeah, I played, uh, I, I uploaded one video of Thief Simulator 2. And I wanted to play more of it, but I just, I've been having a very hard time finding time to record and edit things. So I haven't played it further, but... 
I was debating, like, just doing something silly with it, like, stealing all the TVs from the neighborhood and just piling them into a giant pile. Might have sent them some silver, too. Did I? I thought it was all... I thought I only had, uh, exotics on me. Yeah, well. Play Farm Simulator? Which is the one that I played? I thought I played Farming Simulator. Let's see if I played, like, Farming Simulator 2022, I think, or 2021, whatever it was. Hold on, I'm going back to check. Yeah, I played Farming Simulator 2022. That was back in November. November of 21, though. I played it like three times. That was a long time ago. Feels like forever ago now. Oh, epoxy. I gotta put the epoxy in here. I did. Okay, I need, uh, what was it, eight for that? Yeah, eight carbon fiber. So we need to make eight of those things. Right after that. I'm gonna go restock our fuel cans. Pony and Don't Starve Hamlet is how I found you. Ah, uh, yeah, Don't Starve Hamlet, that was fun. I used to play a lot of clay games. They're a good dev company. Okay, then this in here gets turned into these things. Carbon fiber. Okay, so that'll take care of the carbon fiber we needed. Uh, I have the steel screws, electronics, aluminum I might have enough of. I got 14 of 40 there. Seriously? Seriously? This is my house! Get out of my house, you jerk! You too! Bring your baby in my house? I really gotta get stuff set up to stop these things from knocking on the door all the time. This baby was never here. I think they were there first. You're probably right, Ashley, as a species, but not those ones individually. Farming still here, watching Fox drive around and around very slowly. That's exactly what it is. The, you know, the, the thing with most simulator games is it's like work, but not. <laughs> like, so you end up having, there's usually a repetitive you have, task you have to do that's going to consume a large amount of time. Which is partly why it becomes, like, it's sometimes better to, to edit them rather than just stream it, because you can cut out a lot of, a lot of grinding. Not that I haven't been, like, grinding a whole bunch of stuff tonight on this game, but it's, it's different. There's a little more variety to it than, uh, than the Sim game. I don't know. Like I said, they're my guilty pleasure. I'm not gonna say it's because they're amazing games, they're just, they, I find them weirdly entertaining. Oh. I'm out of fuel in this thing. Throw some coal in there. What has been powers activate? Oh yeah, so true. Yeah. <laughs> it's justifiable defense. Thanks, Steve. I, yep, see they broke into my property, so that I this clearly isn't Canada or I'd be charged. Because <laughs> here in Canada, you can't defend your property that way. Not with lethal force. <laughs> he was coming right for us, though. Uh, okay, so we got enough aluminum. I've got the carbon fiber going. Concrete mix is going to be a problem. I need silica for that, actually, and stone. Uh, whoop, take those. I can't remember whether I need sap for. The no, I don't. Good. There we go. Get the concrete going. Uh, 25 will be enough based on what I already have. And then electronics, I need more stuff and things. And also junk. 
Oh, I have organic resin in here. Oh. Well, that's a thing. I make more resin. So in Canada, not with lethal force, call it accidents, right? Exactly, that's right. In Canada, if, you, if someone breaks into your home and you shoot them, you are going to jail. <laughs> that's just how it works here. He tripped and fell on a baseball bat. <laughs> You'd probably still be charged for leaving your baseball bat laying around. If some, if like a burglar was on your roof and they accidentally fell through your skylight and landed on the kitchen knives on your table, you'd probably be charged. <laughs> okay, I've spent electronics, so I need uh, gold wire. I've got to make 10 more electronics, so I need 50 gold wire. And 150 copper wire. Hundred and fifty copper wire. Oh, brain no work. I need uh, thirty of these. That's a lot. God dang. He ran into my knife. He ran into my knife ten times. He had it coming. <laughs> it wasn't my fault. He kept backing up and running in again. <laughs> yeah, so... Oh, see, that's right. That's right. If you have a defense moose at your home, though, that's, uh, that's how you deal with things. Oh, he pissed off the defense moose. It wasn't my fault. That's a protected animal. I couldn't stop it. Snowrunner's on sale. That's a fun game of being friends. Ah, oh, yeah, I like Snowrunner. Kind of one of those uh, novel uh, survival game kind of, or not survival games, uh, simulator games. Uh, I need more epoxy. Crap! How dare they make me use epoxy for this? Epoxy on their house. Uh, I've got bones hiding here somewhere. Got some bones there. We got some bones here. We'll epoxy for days in a second. Fox hides moose shaped club in closet. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> the moose is loose. I want to watch a blonde paint drying simulator, and yes, there's a game called that. I, there's even a game that's, uh, you know how they have flight simulators where you're like the pilot, and you have to like fly the planes around and land and take off and do all that kind of stuff? Well, there's a flight simulator where you're the passenger on a, on a commercial flight, and it's literally you sitting in your seat and you see the seat in front of you, and you watch it for like two hours. <laughs> With, like, almost nothing to do in the seat. Like, there's not, like... And there's no entertaining events that happen in the plane. Like, it doesn't get, like, hijacked or something and you gotta stop it. Like, you're literally just sitting in your seat. And I think they, like, serve you lunch and stuff. <laughs> but you're... It's just like you're sitting on an airplane. There's, like, nothing to do. <laughs> Bump Simulator was hilarious, though. Probably not suited for a family-friendly channel. I actually steered clear of the homeless people simulators specifically because I was doing charity work for Covenant House, and I felt like that would be in poor taste. <laughs> so I, I didn't do those, even though I kind of wanted to try them to see what they were like. That person is, that person is not real. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh God. It'd be even better if they made it a VR game. <laughs> Sitting in the seat in VR.
This guy submitted a movie for age ratings. It was 12 hours of someone filming paint drawing. The critics said to watch all 12 hours. <laughs> oh my god. Wait, what's this now? There was a Penn and Teller's Desert bus where you drive a bus in real time to Las Vegas. A seven hour trip. Well, the bus slowly veers to the side if you can't... So you can't fake it. If you reach Las Vegas, the bus turns around. If you fall off the road, the tow truck driver drives you back in real time. Oh my god. <laughs> That's just taking simulations too far. Oh, we need that concrete. Okay, we got enough to finally make this uh, tier 4 bench. I've been a little lazy getting around to it, but we got it. Sitting in VR, getting cardboard meals, snoring passenger beside you so you can't go to the washroom? Yeah, <laughs> that's exactly what it would be. Pressure Watch Simulator has a Back to the Future level now where you can clean the DeLorean. Yeah, I got a, an email about that, actually. <laughs> I don't know if they sent me... I should check. I don't know if they sent me a key. I think it was just an email promotional thing from the PR team. Uh, power wash. Currently working with Square Enix to promote power wash. Uh, please respond. Oh, yeah. So I was able... I, I had the opportunity to respond back and get a key. But I, I didn't end up doing that. Fabricator. Okay, where am I going to put this thing? I'm, I'm really running out of space for stuff here. I feel like we need a bigger house. There are so many crafting benches in this game, it's actually kind of ridiculous. Kind of blocks my stairway a little bit, but not too bad. This gives us access to make all kinds of things, like the hunting rifle. I don't think I have 40 titanium, though. Really? 40? I have literally zero. Where do you even find titanium on this map? God dang. Alright, anyway, it's uh it's like twenty after twelve my time. I think I'm gonna crash for tonight. We got uh we got some of the exotics done, we got the quest done that I wanted to tackle, so that's finally out of the way. Uh I'm gonna keep harvesting those exotics. Hopefully we'll find some more. We can we're probably gonna need to, to make another radar thing. Um we can grab another quest too, actually. Maybe we'll grab we'll right at the start of the next stream we'll grab the next quest. And see what uh See what that has in store for us. Good progress today. Good chat, everything too. Good active, uh, active chat tonight. Anyway, thanks everyone for coming to hang out tonight. I really, really appreciate it. Uh, I'm planning to be live tomorrow night. I'm not sure what I'm going to play just yet, but uh, we'll see what happens. My weekends have been kind of weird lately. Um, it should be around 9 p.m. Eastern time tomorrow. Thanks again, everyone. I'm as always Cryptic Fox. I'll see all of you next time.